freaking situated still. Hi, guys. Hello. Well, let me make sure I have my off because I do that every single time. Well, let's get this let's get did. this rolling here in a minute. We have a bit of an yeah, issue. Our, our, there we go. Camera fell down. Hi. 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 Hello. What on earth was that? A Muppet. You are a Muppet. Yeah. We, all right. So I love this woman so freaking much. So I get up at like five o'clock in the morning and yeah. she sleeps until probably around like nine. She gets up and she comes yeah. rolling out Nine's of the bedroom. Out. She has her hair done in such a way. And I look at her and I'm like, you kind of look like Norma Bates from the movie Psycho. Because she had her hair like in this like weird kind of thing. I sleep <clears> with my hair in a bun in general. And I freshly re-dyed my hair the other night. So the easiest way for me to do that is to part it down the center and then do sections. And when I went to bed, I just put it up in a clip. I didn't fix my part. And uh, so he said this and I was like, how dare you, sir? Because <laughs> he basically called me a grandma. And I was like, that's mean. I don't look that old yet. And uh, oh, Eric. Hey, Eric. Hi, honey. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Eric. So and then I passed by a mirror. <laughs> and then she looked. <laughs> and I was like, look. She looked like a Muppet. When she looked at herself in the mirror. So all day long, I kept telling Jessica, Jessica, you look like um, Mother Psycho Muppet. Or I don't remember what it was, but I don't remember it was like either. this cross. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Okay. Hold on. We, wait, wait. We got to welcome everybody first. Welcome, everybody, to another episode, another night of Grim oh. All okay. Night. Basically, if you're old enough to remember USA Up All Night, hosted by Gilbert Godfrey or Rhonda Shear, we play movies like that. Sometimes worse, a lot of times really worse. Like this one? This one is... is, is I think this one's on par. I think yeah, this, is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is one of those movies where the, where the... This is one of those movies where, in my opinion, the box cover is better than the movie. Yeah. Just say that. But before we get started and, and say you. hello to everybody... Because I think it's been like a week, two weeks. Jessica has a special message for somebody who's in the chat room tonight. I do. I do. Ready? Oh, God. Are you going to join me? No. I'm going to do the thing I do. I'm going to do my Steve Martin. Like, right. annoying. Right? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Happy birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Dear Michelle. That's right, oh, Michelle. Happy mm. birthday to you. Suck it, son. Suck it, son. Two okay. odd and crazy guys. That's right. Okay. So, uh, Michelle. I love you. And Matt, they're friends of ours. Now. They're actually like really good BFFs. friends of ours. Yeah, and they're, we're, Michelle and Matt are my are BFFs. And they both recently had a birthday. And I got to sing happy birthday to uh, Matthew. And yep. I didn't get to sing happy birthday to Michelle. Even though I called her the other night, I still didn't have to sing happy birthday. And I forgot. It is not Jessica's birthday. It is not my birthday. It is not <laughs> my birthday. I think Michelle had said um, that her birthday was last weekend, right? As I had said something. And maybe like because of the, the font is tiny, it looked like I had said. And I was like, no, 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 no. It's not my birthday. I promise. Shark! Dang it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. What is it's it? going up. It's what is going so on here? So weird. Right? So Jessica uh, Jessica got a new toy today. I wouldn't call it a toy. It was it was a gift, though. Yeah. Hunk! From Lucky Hellcat. They From our make, friends, Lucky Hellcat. Yeah. Uh, it's a clothing company, but they make stickers and pins, a whole bunch of stuff. And this is one of the things that she hand-painted. And made by hand, and it's really, really cool. I love pumpkins, and she's just always so nice to me. So, hello, everybody. Hello, Jamika, Shannon, if you guys. Daniel, were in the wow. chat earlier, um, I said that you guys would get to help me choose on what ears I wear tonight because I got some new ones from Karen. Le Bonite by Beatrice. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. We went to a, a horror pop up earlier tonight called and, October Village. Yeah, October Village, and um, she was there, and I got to pick up. Hello, or Allison from ears? Ontario, Canada. So you guys get to help me choose yes. out of these four. We're going to talk about the watch party here in just a minute. This yeah. is kind of like the pre-show. We do about a half an hour of just getting, hanging out, letting loose, relaxing a little bit, getting so, a little drinks, 
or energy drinks. Le Bonite by Beatrice is the lady who makes um, horror styled Mickey Mouse ears. You've seen me wear them plenty of times during live chats. And these are the ones I picked up this time. It's Huey, Dewey, and Louie from the classic <clears throat> 1950s cartoon during Halloween. I love this This so is much. nice. I love it. This is stunning. This is one of her newest ones, Scream, obviously. The Scream one is really is freaking gorgeous. cool. Yeah. Uh, these are new, too. Bat foes with uh, spiderweb ears. That one's neon green. And then a solid pair of all black. So I'll try them all on, starting with the last one. I'm voting for Scream, because we're all horror fans right? here. Right? So cute. I love all black designs. It makes me really happy. And they're all really nice, but we'll see which ones I wear this evening. Beautiful. Matches my hair, right? I think you're right about the screen ones. I think that's probably what the ones I'm going to wear, but we'll see if everybody likes it as much as I do. Yeah, those are bad. <laughs> I get closer so they can see them. Look at that. Uh, that is slick. That's so pretty. He's trying to kill me, though. <laughs> And then this is the last pair. <clears throat> I love them so much. Cute. Look at the little broom and everything. Oh, it's Sean, so adorable. Thank love you, you guys. Sean. That is all. Well, thank thank you. you, Sean. We love you as well. So I think everyone is saying scream. Scream it is. Scream. scream yeah. It is. Scream. We have. Scream, scream, scream. Okay. So we're wearing scream. We have some news. We got some big news. We have some small news, some in between news. But before we get to all that, Thank you all for taking the time to come here tonight. Shannon, Robert, Michael Kelly, Christina Horton, Paul Hafner, um, Ruby, Stevie, Allison, Steve Wagner, Solomon K, um, Darlene Smith, Eric Palmer. Thank you all for being here. I can't hear the word Palmer without without thinking Twin Peaks. You guys froze up a little bit. It's all right. Um, Laura Palmer. Right, right. Yeah, right. Now, who here? Is this their very first grim up all night watch party? Quit it, you crazy girl. You can go ahead and do it. Who here is a grim up all night nah. virgin? Nah. Some of you are liars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on to your game, crazy your one. Game. Ben, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Ben. To all of you who are new to the Grim Up All Night Watch Party, watch parties in today's climate, everybody's been doing them. Here's how we've been doing them. And it's been almost just over two years, I think. I just don't know. I've lost two track. Years, yeah. So two in years. order to properly participate in a Grim Up All Night Watch Party, you need two screens. The one that you're watching us on now. Another phone, possibly your TV, or two screens on a laptop, or two whatever, to bring up YouTube here talking to us, and YouTube to bring up the movie tonight, which is free. Understand? Uh, now, in order to get tonight's movie, it is free. The link is pinned to the top of the chat, which I think is below you, or in, this, in the description to this video. Find it. Click on it. It'll take you to a website called Tubi. You do not have oh, to. Thank you, Danielle. You do not have to sign up for an account. It's free. All you got to do is hit play. But don't hit play just yet. Thank you, Danielle. Or you can just open two tabs if you're watching it or whatever. Just two different screens, two different tabs, whatever. Again, the link to tonight is in the description below. Or in the chat, top, pinned to the top of the chat. I'll say, tonight's free movie. Do not watch it just yet. Right? Anybody have any questions? What's your question? Tramp stamp. Tramp stamp. Of course. We're not, everybody's watching. Right now there's 350 people in this, 352 in this room tonight. 352 people <laughs> watching the same movie. You may not care if we're all synced up, but if you want to get synced up to where we are, if your screen freezes or you go to the bathroom and you come back and you want to make sure we're in the same area, Carrie. yell out as loud as you can. Thank you, Carrie. Yell out tramp as loud stamp. as you can in your house. Tramp stamp. Wake up, Grandma. You can click on it now if you like. If yes. you don't want to be in the same part of the movie that we're in, no problem. Because most of the time we, we talk through a Thank lot. You, anyway. yeah. Thank you, we're Chris. Yeah. Thank you, We're going to talk and we're just going to hang out, answer questions, and watch the movie with you. You can yeah. watch it with us or you can watch it by yourself. It's up to you. 
But if you want to wait, oh, no, not grandma. In twenty minutes, we're all going to hit play at the same time and watch it and just yeah. kind of enjoy a horror movie with George Clooney in it. You're right. Honk, 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 honk. Yeah. All right. With that being said, you may have noticed that some people tonight have done this wonderful thing called Super Chat. We are not new to this wonderful thing called YouTube. Thank you. Oh, thank the you buff. buff. Greetings from the Inland Empire. Hoo-hoo. With the GLC, every day is Halloween. You're darn tooted. Just like the buff has done, if you want to. Where is the Inland Empire? That's like east, northeast of where we are. Oh, okay. If you, want to, if you want to contribute, you don't have to, but if you want to, there's Super Chat, oh there's <clears throat> PayPal, and other links in the description of this video. Right now, our store is closed because we're getting ready to travel. All right? We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Yeah. But if you want to, we started this thing called Tip 666, or you can donate and whatever you want, but don't worry if you can't. Don't worry about it. Just watch our videos. That's all we care about. If you watch our videos, all is good, all is dandy. And thank you. Any questions? Did I leave anything out? I hate doing that thing where it's like, subscribe and and and, and donate it's now. Cool. We need you. It's like, listen, man. Oh, creepy con was the inland empire. Yes. Dude, like Hello, just, Daniel. Sometimes I just really don't know. Like <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> okay. Now Big, big news. Right now here in Los Angeles, it is, I almost said December 5th. Wow. Right. Thank you, Nikki. Thanks. Thank you so much. Bottom. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Nikki. Today in Los Angeles, right now, depending on where you're in the world, it can change. Um, it's March 5th. Uh -huh. In five days, we are getting in a car and we are driving across country out into the great wide open. We're gonna be making we're gonna be making an appearance at Trans World Haunt and Halloween Show mm -hmm. in St. Louis. We will not have a booth. We will not. We'll, we'll be, be walking around filming yes. and bringing you all sorts of Halloween stuff from haunted houses Big to stuff. special effects. Whenever yeah. you think of Halloween and haunted houses, watch our channel because Trans World is coming. Then we're driving to Cincinnati, Ohio, yeah. because we are special guests at. This year's Horror Hound Weekend. We will have a booth. We will have a booth. We'll have a table. Come by. Table say, booth, say hi. You want to say it. And yeah. um, yeah. But in the meantime, for an entire month, we are going to be driving all over God's creation, bringing you guys nothing but true crime, serial killers, murder sites, famous graves, and <laughs> weird roadside attractions. All right. So get ready. Thank you, Haley. That was a mouthful. I feel like I'm talking way too much. It's a lot of information. Yes. Yeah. Just trying to keep everybody up to date. Um, a lot of people th thought we were going to be at conventions that we were not going to Monster be Monster Mania. Yeah. We had talked about hoping, wanting to go, but we weren't going to have a table or anything yeah. if we had gone. So um, we were talking about it. And I think people assumed because we were talking about it that we were going to be going. But um, we, we talk about a lot of conventions, honestly, because we would love to go, you know. But... Thank you, James. Paul's gonna be at at Har Hound. You better come. You better say hi, James. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So sadly, we can't make Monster Mania. We can't. We tried. No. We tried pulling different things. We're not gonna be able to make that. Trying to make it work. Um. No. But from March 10th to April 10th, we are going to be on the road. Not sure if we're gonna be able to do watch parties. We're gonna try. But since we're gonna be on the road, there's gonna be a lot of times where where we are in the middle of nowhere. I'm Thank talking you, like. Damon. Nebraska so and Wisconsin, just in the middle of nowhere, and and St. Louis. So middle of nowhere, <laughs> middle of nowhere. It's like when we're in like That's the backwoods right. in Nebraska, we That's might not have now. the best internet connection, so you might not Tyler, get some videos. You guys just are awesome. Can't wait to watch road trip videos. Us too. Thank you, we Damon. Can't wait to make them and for Tyler. You. It's coming. Yeah. In five days. Be between now, between this and when we leave, there's gonna. There's going to be some true crime stuff happening yeah. on our channel to get you guys prepared starting tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. We're, we're filming something big tomorrow as long as everything goes well. So, it rained today. Yeah. Oh, my friends in Ireland mentioned you on their channel. They love you. 
You have an Irish pearl. Oh, that's so sweet. Is, uh -huh. it, um, is it the little anime girl? Um, oh, gosh. I can't remember her name. Bat wings? Yeah. Kawaii? Like bat, Kawaii bat wings? Batty Kawaii or something like that. She's she's just as sweet as I love her to death. Thank oh, yeah. you, Jeff. Yeah. So somebody said gas prices are crazy. Today in, in L.A., uh, well, we were just south of L.A. in um, Garden Thank Bell you, or something like Bell Gardens. Six dollars oh, and twenty cents. That's what Bob said. Michael, you make Pittsburgh proud, dude. Thank you, Bob. That just made my night. Seriously, that was man. Really sweet. So, um, oh yeah, the creature future thing is gonna be amazing. Norma, Norma thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Um, I just oh, really quickly want to put um put this out there and say that anybody who is in um Australia right now and anybody who is in. Uh, Ukraine are being affected by those do those two places. Um, our, our thoughts are with you. Our hearts are with you. I know there's a lot of fires and flooding in Australia. That's pretty bad. They've gone into a state of emergency. And obviously what's happening over in Ukraine, um, our hearts and everything go out to everyone who's um, being affected Haley, by it over there. Um, we, we don't want to talk about things like that too often when we're in the lives because that's one of the reasons why we do the lives is because everybody needs a little help getting through hard times like what was going on right now. But we just want to really quickly at the beginning of everything say we just hope everybody's safe and, and we love you and please take care of yourself. Yes. It's like so quiet in the house that like as soon as I stopped talking, I was like, wow, that's like still like bing, pin drop. Um, don't stare at me like that. Heartfelt. Diva ducks. What is a diva duck? Quack. Dunk? Hey, y'all. Hep cats. Oh, okay. Just wanted to say, I dig your idea for the new creepy adventure. Orlando misses you. Happy Halloween. Well, thank you. Thank, so you. Much, thank you. Thank you. It means thank you. So. You guys, all the support that you have, you all have given us from Ohio to on um, Orlando to Pittsburgh, pretty much everywhere. Our friends in Salem, it means the entire world to us because mm -hmm. of you guys. All of this is, is is possible. All of it. We owe everything to you. Like I said before, you know, donations help, but all of that means nothing. Just you guys watching. It doesn't mean nothing. You know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. But like you guys just watching and sharing and coming up to us if you ever see us Come and on. say, hey, I'm a big fan of your show. You have no idea how much that, that means to us. Oh, it's so funny that you asked that, John, because we've actually had Adam in our videos before and we've mm -hmm. been in his videos before. John or John, you're John. Uh, Adam is like a gentle giant. He's like six foot three, six foot four. Ooh. I'm like five foot three. So every time I see him, I love being able to give him hugs because it's just these like wonderful bear hugs. And he's the most sweetest person on the planet. He's his very sweet soul. Oh, yeah. Big news. God, Sam, all kinds of other big news. Are you guys coming to Monster Palooza? No. Well, we are. We are. Um, but we're probably not going to be guests. We're probably just going to be walking around filming and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We are. We were announced today as guests for um, Midsummer Scream this year. There's a yes. lot. So this year, this summer in Long Beach, California, Monster, uh, not Monster, Midsum Midsummer Scream is coming back in full force in the biggest convention here in California. And we are going to be there. So Midsummer Scream this summer. Happy come birthday, check it out. Corey. Now, is it yesterday? Recently on our channel, we put a promo to our appearance on Creature Features. If you guys remember, a couple months ago, we were, we, 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 well, we went up to San Francisco area, Bodega Bay, which is where the haunted house is. Oh my gosh, wishbone. KC95, home of the rock. Wow. I haven't heard that in like a very long time. So uh, we were up there. We did a an appearance on... The Creature Features TV show. I love them. <clears throat> and it was fun. It was fun. It was so much fun. So this time we came back and we went up to, to Bodega Bay through the haunted house. <sighs> like that. Ghostly winds. <sighs> and we did a spot for them as special guests, a little interview on, you know, it's going to be on the channel, on the show. But we also filmed. A couple different skits that are going to be featured throughout the TV show 
when they come back from commercial breaks. Yeah, I, I can't wait. And oh. it's, it's, it's amazing. Like, it's we had so, so fun. much fun. It was so, so fun. So, March 19th. Are which, out of school, Ruby? What day is March 19th? Tangela. Yeah, Tangela. So, March 19th is a Saturday. So, we are probably going to be doing a watch party. And the link is going to be going to... Um, St. Louis is my hometown, Their too. website with that video, our appearance on Creature Features that night. And... Be be warned because it's a lot of fun. We had such a we had such a blast. Prometheus <clears throat> Esoterica. I want to say that's the we actually know them. They're from Maybe Orlando. This madness. Yeah. Oh, I, well, we met them in Salem for the first time ever. Wait, what? I want to say it's the same people. No. Um, I forget her. I forget their name. It's a married couple. We met them because we both had gothic purses and we were all both in a uh, adventure. I was thinking of somebody else. I'm not sure. I get everybody confused nowadays. Singers, Madness, Abigail's wondering if you would do a cat's eye video. She loves your Christine oh. video. Uh, Christine was her first scary movie and cat's eye her second. Cat's eye is a good one. She wants to do yeah, a cat's eye. I She's been, been bugging me to it. do a cat's yeah. eye and it's going to happen. Every time it comes around to do a watch party, I forget about it. Are you talking about a watch party or a filming location? I think you're talking about a filming location video. Mm -mm 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 I don't even know where the, the filming locations are for that one. I would have to look up. Do you realize? So when we leave for our month long road trip on the on the 10th, so we're we're gonna be gone on the road for an entire month, and we're only doing one filming location video. The rest of it is true crime. True crime, yeah, and and historic. So there's a old ready for this one. There is an old actor. In horror that everybody loves. One of the most beloved actors in horror movies. And we are going to track down all the places that he grew up. And tell the story of this certain horror actor's childhood. And, yeah. I hate when, like, you make it a guessing game. Because I, I think I knew it because I'm going to be there, right? Like, I have probably heard <laughs> it being talked about in the house. But then I'm like, that, even I'm not sure I'm like... Is it the one I'm thinking of? And I don't want to give anything away. Like, right, Thomas? That You could be right. I think you might be right. Do I think you're right? Yeah. Just is saying. It, is it Vincent Price? It is Vincent Price. Okay. Wah, Vincent, okay so Vincent, Vincent Price is one of the very few things that St. Louis is like, look who came from here. There's like three and he's one of them. Yeah. So Vincent Price grew up in St. Louis where Jessica's from. And yeah, we went ish. through and we tracked, we pinpointed all these places from where the house Aww, that he grew up you, in to his star on the St. Louis Walk of Fame to where he went to high years. school, his family's candy factory. Did you know that Vincent Price's dad owned a candy factory? And it's in fact I did. Right, crazy, right? Me. And Vincent Price, yeah. instead of going into acting, he could have become the next Willy Wonka, the real life Willy Wonka. Good thing he became an actor. Huh? 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all over the place. It's um, called an energy. Want to answer really quick? I saw a question run by really yes. quickly. We basically are sold out of everything on the website, yes. meaning t-shirts. We we have stickers, we have magnets, we have the prints, obviously. Um, again, we're running into supply issues. Um, and because we Thank are so dread. frequently on the road, I'm, I'm just honestly having trouble finding companies to test out. And it's kind of just nerve wracking because I'm on like my fourth or fifth company trying mm -hmm. to test them out. And, you know, when you get back and you need them like now to go off to something, you can't show up and be like, well, this is complete shit. I wouldn't sell this to somebody on street, you know, it's a quality thing. Um, I just, I have expectations and I refuse to lower those expectations. So, um, we don't have shirts presently. We are sold out and we won't have them when we expected to. End of April. Yeah. End of April. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah. Hung on, hung, hung on, hung on. We got more stuff, more stuff coming too. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, grim life curtains. <laughs> I'm all over the place tonight. I'm all over the place tonight. Nobody needs a haircut. Who said I needed a haircut? Well, they didn't say you needed a haircut. They just said haircut needed, which... I think if, they're talking about me. If they are talking about you, I say no. I say you do not need a haircut. I don't need a haircut. You don't need a haircut. It's not going to happen. Someone said I need to touch up my hair already. I'm like, dude, you really, you don't work in hair, do you? Because you do not touch this up. You will fry your hair off your head if you were to touch up roots this short. I have experience in that. 
Wah, it goes wah. back so fast. Yes, hoodies. When I can find us a player, we will absolutely be doing hoodies. You have my word. I promise you we will be doing it. Hoodies, girls' t-shirts, um, shorts, tank tops, hopefully, maybe. Thank you, um, Michelle. Booty shorts, wow. even, you know. I, I want to do a whole line. I really, well, really do. Well, so we we there's booty shorts and then there's bunny shorts. Which ones are the bunny shorts? The bunny shorts are like so. The bitty bitty. So, so, the, so the booty shorts are, are are what hug you, and they're like super tight. But then the bunny shorts are like still hugging you, but at the same exact time they're loose. So whenever you walk, oh. it's just like oh, they're just floating around no, all over the place. No, I did not make these ears. These ears are made by Le Bonite by Beatrice. You can find her um, on Instagram, and she has a website that she sells through. Um, every time you see me wearing a pair of ears that look like this, that mm. are horror icon themed, they are from her. I don't buy from anybody else but this company because they're just sweet as fucking pie, and I love them to bits. Oh. Speaking uh, of, somebody case. says, I love your tattoo. No case. Christina, um, we are, all right, there's a, we're working on, we're planning to be back in Salem sometime this summer. Yeah. Um, no coffee mugs, I'm sorry. We are both fans of a tattoo shop up there, uh, twins, the Murray twins, who own a shop up there called the Black Veil Tattoo. Check them out on Instagram. Oh, Beautiful you, artwork. Abigail. Black Veil, B E I L tattoo. Uh -huh. um, we're uh -huh. trying to get in to have get some tattoo done, Thank some work you, done Craig. while we're up there. I've been messaging you too. I would love to have you on my podcast. Huh? Depending on how you're trying to get a hold of us, it might be darn near impossible, my friend. Uh, we are really, really busy. We are. We do travel a lot, so it's a little hard to track us down. But the best way my to do it is, is just email us. Hair lightener. Blue after hair lightener. So, yo, I'm not even going to try and answer that one. I would really have to ask you a whole bunch of questions as to why it would be turning blue. Um, I would just pop into a ooh, salon. Ooh, That's going to be the easiest ooh, way ooh, that you can get answers. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's turning blue because in all actuality, the parents didn't tell them this, but their birthday is coming up and it's the anniversary of them, which means... They are part Smurf. That that I think you're I think you're onto something here. Right? It's yeah. like whenever witches turn sixteen and all of a oh, sudden they, they got powers. See what your new nails look like. Oh. Well, we did get our nails done, it was the same. but his yeah is a similar color, and I went for kind of a purplish glitter. Kind of not picking up on the camera as well as I thought it would, but yeah. Thank email. you, Go Kathy. To, thank you, Kathy. GrimLifeCollective.com. At the very bottom, there's an email tab. Again, if you're listening to this and you're watching this, email pre re for business inquiries only, please. Please. Or else things get lost like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. What I mean by business inquiries, like if you have something, um, a business or something, and you, you want to bring us there for that, go ahead and email us. Um, yeah. I oh, I know ghosts. It's a lot. Yeah. Ghost. We, we, honestly, we are kind of losing a lot of people who are sending us business contacts about, uh, you know, appearances and things like that because we're overloaded with people sending us emails about when the t-shirts are going to be back Braxton in stock. Braxton Collins. So I, I plead with you, I implore you, please do not write in asking when we're going to have our t-shirts back in stock because it's, it's beginning to become too much. No, is Evil, Yoj. 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 You can call me Yoj. <laughs> what is your favorite routine that you like to do? Michael actually does his hair. I don't know if I have what? a routine. I'm kind I don't of have a routine. You play with your hair every day. I know. I don't Super have a routine. Wendy and I want to tell you too how cool it is that you guys do this up all night in this era. We can teach our little grim Abigail what a watch party is. No, Abigail. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Abigail. We love so you guys. So, Singer's Madness, is Abigail watching right now? Yeah, she said hi earlier. Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay, so we have like a good minute. So, back whenever your parents were growing up, I don't know how old your parents are, uh, but growing up, we used to watch this thing called USA up all night. And up it was like, all night. right? Yeah. It, it's kind of a, eh. They played weird movies there. Some of them were really good. Some of them weren't really that good. And then along came 
Joe Bob Briggs, which has been around for a while, but his show, Joe Bob Briggs, The Last Drive-In is the newest one, but he used to have a show on TNT called Monster Vision, where they would stay up all night, play movies, and just kind of talk. And that's kind of like what we do, only we're, well, everybody brings their own little thing to the table. With that being said, does everybody know where tonight's movie link is? Because the movie is about to begin. My God. Paul, Paul, thank you. When you get the tattoos in Salem, will you guys get matching ones? No. No. Uh, Chris. Thank you, Taking Chris. all the new contact. It's been a lot of fun watching this channel evolve. The hosts with the most ghost hosts that like that. That's so awesome. So if you've been in our live chats before and when we've been talking about tattoo ideas, I want to get uh, Lucy as the vampire bride on my arm. And they're the only tattoo artist that I want to do it. Like, I just love their style. Of course, because they're identical twins, they have a very similar style. Um, now I've considered getting it done by other people, but no, I just, I love what they do. And, um, they're amazing. Black yeah. veil. All right. For those of you who just joined us, be prepared. This is the greatest movie ever in the entire world. And George Clooney should have only done this movie and stuck with it because he can never top this appearance. 1987. Some say 88, but it actually came out in 1987. It's called Return to Horror High. Mortimer, you do tattoos too? What don't you do, bro? Now. I want to see your tattoos. For those of you who are just joining us, tonight's movie, yeah. the link is in the description below or pinned to the top of the chat. We're going to do a countdown. Thank you, Patty. And then we're going to watch the movie. There are ads. If you get up to go to the bathroom or if grandma yells at you to turn it down and you need to figure out where we are, all you got to do is yell really loud, tramp stamp, really loud. And then type it, or else we wouldn't know that you said it. Type it, and it will tell you where we are in the movie. Try to line up. All right. Do, 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 Three. Do, 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 do. Two. One. Hit play. As we return. Hello, UK. Hello. To horror Hello. high. And of course. I have one tattoo. Tramp stamp three times wrong. Let you stink. I think I tried to count Michael's tattoos the other day, and I... I, I think I counted twenty one, and you counted seventeen, or something like that. So one of us is definitely your, off. Your butt's twenty one. Oh yeah, I, I missed the VHS <laughs> art, man. That was always really great. <clears throat> That's one of the cool things about some of the shops that have popped up around here in California. Um, there's one. Called... Don't slap your grandma, Hunter. Don't um, Look at that. In 1982, Ooh. a series of brutal murders rocked Crippen High you. School. The killer was never apprehended. Oh, no. Three months ago, Cosmic Pictures went to the town of Crippen to film the story of what actually happened. <sighs> Making the movie in the very halls of the now abandoned school. But they were not alone. Somebody vacuuming? Right, dude, that freaks me out. I was like, is that the movie or is somebody <laughs> being murdered upstairs? I'm gonna vote for murder. Because downstairs. it sounded like it sounded like the monk thing at all. Dude, I have like so many lounge. Trips. Allison Bentley, are you in the UK? Or are you somewhere in another hey, country the outside of the US? Nice. Dude, like that really, really freaked oh. me out. So Allison, it may not be available to you in oh, Canada. I do apologize. That's so cool, man. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. I wanna I know I know that we're friends on Instagram and I'm really terribly bad at this, but tag me in, in your uh, tattoo stuff. I wanna see what you do. So years ago. Real talk. I just sent you an email on the website about... Okie dokie, thank you, Hans. Thank you, Real Talk. Thank you. So, years ago, I was uh, a body piercer for probably like five, six years in a shop called Tattoos by Boney Joe in Zelenopel, Pennsylvania. And uh, one day, I I've seen some crazy things, right? I've put we did the Winchester house. I've put needles in some crazy places. Yes, he did. And uh, one day... A priest came in and got his nipples pierced. And it was the weirdest thing. Was he a real priest? He was a real priest. 
Yeah, he came in, he was wearing his thing, and he had took his collar off, and then I pierced the priest's okay. nipples. So, I, I feel like that's not, like... Well, supposedly... Very priestly. Well, supposedly there's a lot of, like, freaky deaky in the in the priest hoodie, I if have, you know what I, I mean. I have heard this. Yeah, it's it's not in, uh, nothing new. Yeah. Hi, Wayly Moon. Yeah, just all of a sudden, the people above us are, like, vacuuming or something, and it's like... Yeah. But it sounds like, oh, you know, and it did it right at the, like, the right time at the, when the movie scroll was happening. <clears throat> and I was like, what the hell? Yeah, that was weird. Oh, we have no idea what the problem was. It was just either YouTube was being an ass or our local provider was an ass. Right. So really, we, we did do yet. this before we went live tonight. We reset everything. Mm -hmm. So everything has like a fresh charge or whatever you want to call it. Fresh signal. Yeah. We're not in the, the new place yet. We are no. moving <clears throat> when we get back. Like I think we oh. should be ready to move when we get back. Even bigger news. Right. So we yeah. talked to everybody. We talked to the, um, the office, the people that live there are gone. That place is whatever. And they're refurbishing everything in there. Uh, like updating everything, like the kitchen and the what have you yeah. not. The place is like a thousand times bigger than what we have now. Well, and then and then it has an extra room. Um, so well, we're really excited about that. We saw it. We did like a walkthrough. Everything's like good. It's the same size as me. <laughs> it's bigger. It's bigger. I believe and, you. I believe you. And there's a possibility. possibility there's a possibility that we might be getting our new car earlier oh. than expected. I had no idea, Mortimer. So things are looking That's up, cool. and the reason why they're looking up is because our oh, attitude God, on life is looking up. Look at me. I'm like a poster in the back of a freaking guidance counselor's office. How long my hair got? My hair is past my boob. That's all I can say. It's right there. There's my boob. There's my hair. Is that, no, is that we really are not long? getting a hearse. Or how long did his hair get? <laughs> oh, my hair? It's a uh, well, so okay. Here. When we lived in Orlando, it was exceptionally hot all the time. So we, we started that long. shaving his undercut. Yeah. You know. So I got this like. Yeah. So the, the his sides are getting long and fluffy. And once every once this gets to be a long enough length, you know everything's probably going to get cut into a style. But we're trying to grow this part out. So it's that weird like ugly duckling stage when like you're trying to grow out a pixie that you had. I feel you like I'm I mean? like 13 years old and my mom's dressing me to go to school. My pumpkin purse, depending on which one it was, because um, I got them from like three different companies, was probably Love Pain and Stitches. They sell out a lot. Yes, Alex Martin. We did put a down payment, or we, we got the everything cut. for the uh, for a Tesla. So here in California and all the traveling that we do, especially with the gas going through the freaking roof, Ooh. especially out here, uh, we are going full electric. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> you look like a hitchhiker. Who, me? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, growing out the undercut. Man, it is what it is. Did the priest bless his nipple before you pierced it? Oh, I uh... I think a long time ago we did a watch party. For I kind of do look like the hitchhiker from uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There you go. I can kind of see it a little bit, but please don't. That guy was gross. Ed Neal? He's, uh, he's, he's a strange individual. Ab Abigail says he should a get cut. a bull cut. You know what, yeah. Abigail? You should get a reverse bull cut. Like monks. You know, you just shave the top and you have the hair down here. That's what you need, Abigail. Yeah, that's right. Mind <laughs> you, Abigail. You can ask a question, Shannon, of course. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to change my hair color. I'm really in love with this one right now, but whenever I feel the need to change my hair color, I'm just going to change it. So it's not going to be like, you know, I'm not going to, there's no warning. I can change my hair at any given time. Whoa, what? how are you missing she that? Please! Because the ring light is right in front of my face, and I have to like do this. I did that on purpose. To see over the ring light. I need a shirt like that guy. Those aren't even polka dots. Those are polka what squares. What happened to the movie we were in? Oh well, that's still being worked on. The, yeah. These things take a long time. Yeah, there's a movie coming that we were yeah. in. When, when trust me, whenever it comes out or it starts coming out, you'll know um, because we're going to be talking about it a lot. Boobies. 
I live with a lookalike. Who's my lookalike? Do you know, all right, so everybody always looks at, so small. people constantly tell me, Michael, Grimm, you look, you remind me of a darker, gothier version of Jim Carrey. This one yeah. here, nobody ever says it, but she said it one of the very first times that we got together, and then I still think of it. Just, just look straight ahead. Don't smile. Just look straight ahead. Don't smile. Don't smile. Just don't smile. Got to hold it. Keep it. There you go. That's look hard. at that. Look at that. Who does that remind you of? I don't know. The Resident Evil chick. Mila Jovovich. Mila Jovovich. Mila Jovovich. Mila Jovovich. Yes, by Le Bonite. Yes. <clears throat> I used to get, when I was younger, lip, I got Liv Tyler a lot when I had black hair. Like, a lot when I had black hair. Yeah. Your baby girl, right? Mila I, Jovovich. I used to get that I look like um, Liv Tyler a lot. Or people say I, I kind of look like an elf because I have very long, straight black hair. And then she went and played an elf. So then for a, a while there, I got that I looked like Erwin. And I was like, you're not wrong, apparently. <laughs> See, I don't see the Mila, but oh, 100%. like she is fucking stunning, so thank you. Like I will I will accept this because like she is drop dead gorgeous and I've had a crush on her since I was like as young as I can remember. So Thank yeah. you, Katie. <laughs> so when I if anybody who's ever been in like the goth scene has has owned a Joy Division shirt, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Fair enough to say. Yeah. And I used to have one back whenever I was a kid and then a couple of weeks ago, we were walking through the mall. That's right. We were walking through the mall. Mall Multi here in pass. Glendale. And, and, we, and Fifth and Element is my it. favorite movie. Multipass. Sorry, go ahead. Multipass. Oh, I'm done. No, it was not a ghost. So, all right. Multipass. We were walking through a mall. And we came across a hot topic. And I walked in and I was like, look at that shirt. I need to have that shirt. It takes me way back. And Jessica says, nah, duh. Everybody had that shirt growing up. And she was right. Now, here's the thing. Ready? Connections. Here's how things all connect. The mall that we went to is called Glendale Galleria. It's the same mall that billy eilish used in her video where she goes to the mall and she yeah. gets the pretzel and stuff same exact mall oh a boob blew up in the movie and i missed it right wow. I'm, i am i am i am taking your attention well no it's because i had honestly the way that we have everything set up the ring light is directly in my face dan so I... wait you're getting married dan hey congratulations <laughs> just went quiet dan I, I, if you, if you, I, you said Michael, I am getting married. Then LOL. So I don't know if you're serious or not. If you are serious, congratulations. If not, well, hmm. Look, George Clooney. Doesn't even look like him, does it? Nope. You're right. Yeah, he looks young and old at the same time. <laughs> Oh, uh, Dan's getting married to no. Julia Stout. You know what, Dan? Aww. You can have her. She's all yours. I take my congratulations oh, back. You know who? So I, I found out this the other day. Mm -hmm. So. <sighs> Tram stamp, please. Tram stamp. Tram stamp. Ah, <clears throat> uh, shoot. Okay. 11 minutes and 45 <laughs> seconds. <Six burn>. So <laughs> recently. Jessica and I went to and saw the movie The Batman. If you've seen it, you know it was oh, good. It. If you didn't, we're not going to say anything else. It was amazing. We loved it. We loved it. So then the very next day, mm. no, the same day, the same theater we, we were at, but a different time, it turns out Robert Pattinson showed up and introduced the movie. At the actual Grom's Chinese Theater. Yeah. Because they have a specific theater. So then yeah. today... Today, I saw an article about Robert Pattinson, how he lives here in L.A. I don't think so, Katie. 
And it turns out Robert Pattinson lives closer to us than Angelina Jolie does. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, Robert Pattinson lives here in LA. Like where? Because it's like there's like Beverly Hills and then there's Los Feliz. And like we live closer to Los Feliz, but we're central. So I'm like that. So I did a quick little search. I sent an email. Maybe I get a high from that because I'm wasting my time here. What? There? So so I uh, I did a quick little search and I typed it in and I Where's put it in. Hi, earlier. Hi, Dad. And it's hi. like I can walk to Robert Pattinson's I don't, house. I don't know. Just thought that was fun. I, I sh we should point out at the beginning of the chats, but it, it just feels really silly to say this out loud. What's that? That if you come to the chat, like hopefully wanting to catch our attention so that we say hello to you specifically, you're going to have a hard time because the chat goes by very, very fast. And if I say it once, I generally don't repeat myself. So if you don't hear me say it and then you continue to say, hey, say hi to me. 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 I'm going to put you on block. Because that gets very disruptive for the whole chat. And I just really, if I've said it and I've addressed you and you don't, if you want me to keep doing it, I just don't do it. I find that to be rude and it's not um, polite for everybody else. So when we moved here, I got these like weird things over here. When we moved here, we had no idea that Los Feliz was where most, if not all of we the stars live. Yes. Right. I mean, there's other places over on like the Hollywood Hills area and like Beverly Hills and what have you not. But like today's biggest stars all live like not that far. Right there. There's like a hidden community. Yeah, there's like a hidden community. And we live so there's Hollywood and then there's Los Feliz and we live like right on that line. And um so it's kind of right, neat. Born, right, yeah. Like every time we go every time we drive down the road, there's always people walking or running. And I'm like I'm looking to see if I see anybody. If we're at a stoplight, I'm always looking at the person next to me. And right. then they look over at me and it's nobody famous. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. So I, uh, <laughs> happy birthday, cat mom. Happy birthday. Um, that I actually do have a lookalike that I think looks the closest to me than anybody ever has in my life. Especially when I was younger. She looks like the, she looks exactly how I did when I was a teenager. So when, while we were both teenagers, we looked like we were twins. But then my face changed a little bit as I matured. And Zoe Kravitz was awesome. Mine, who lives on the East Coast. And she's come here to California and we've gotten to say hi. She's tagged me in some of her stuff on Instagram. Um, I'm not going to tell you who she is because I don't want everybody to like bombard her being like, oh my God, you're just a twin. But um, if you see the images that I've been tagged in on Instagram, then you know who she is. And she, her name is Liz. I love her to death. And I honestly can't remember what her screen name is right now anyway. So thank you, Dave. Thank City you, of Dave. the Dead was amazing. Thank you. I've been going to historic graveyards as long as I can remember. Now, thank you. That means the world. I've been wa We've been wanting to go to Coma for quite some time. Tramp stamp. Tramp stamp. Now, you guys may have noticed it's 15 minutes and 35 seconds. Sorry. So we've said this before. Every time that we have a big trip coming up, like a month long, we like going for these month long volleys. You'll notice yeah. that videos tend to slow down around the channel. It's because we're doing a lot of preparation, yeah, hours of, of, of getting things ready. So when we go to these places, we can just go to them and You're keep welcome, going. Talon. So that's what is going on Talon. now. Talon. Um, we, I mean, we do not really have moderators for the uh, the chat. Generally, I moderate as best as I can um, because our our schedule is just so hectic. It's not. I you can never need to go find see someone the, who can always, yeah. always be there. But. You need to go see the Foo Fighters movie, Studio 666. Really? Dave Goal played an awesome demon. I want to see it really bad. And we... We drove by and we got to see them uh, do the uh, the premiere the down promo, the street. Yeah, the uh, Dan, the breaking newsman, is Vincent Tangella and the Butler on Future this. Features in real life you. awesome people to talk with. They are. They are creepy as. They're really wonderful people in real life. Heckins. Um Every time we come and see them, we always spend hours sitting around talking and hanging out with each or other. Is it, very easy to talk to. Or is it we always spend hours because they won't let us out of their house? Same thing. We are held Which prisoners quality with time. good I mean, quality, quality, quality conversation and dinner. Technically, I haven't. I technically, you, you're my prisoner. See this? See this? See this? It's a binding ring. I have binded you to me with with, ma with magic. This magic ring right there. That one. Yeah, it's right. See, can't take it off. You suck at this. Yes. 
So yes, I do. Five years coming up with five years, <laughs> right? <of> death. <laughs> and she's she's always trying to take my wedding ring off. Always. It's really a lose. Not once in the five years that we've been together, not once <laughs> has she ever taken it off while I slept. Wait, what? Ding. <laughs> I actually have. You, I have. You've taken my wedding ring off while I slept, and then like, and then what? Yes. What would you do? Take pictures for like ransom later? I on? will now. <laughs> I will now. You got it, dude. You got it, dude. So like, uh, it became this thing where because his ring is so loose, one time he like made you know a wild gesture with his hand, and his ring went flying, and I was like, what the. <laughs> And it became kind of a joke to see if I could get his ring from him because his ring is so loose on his hand because he's got big hands and so big knuckles, right? Um, oh, so here's a funny thing. So this is my, these are my rings. That's my wedding ring. It's a coffin shape. And then I wear something on my thumb. Today, I don't know why, but I was like, hey, let me see your hand. I'm going to do something cute and funny. Give it. Give it to me. <laughs> Give me this one. Get, get. Come on. Come on. So I was like, I just want to be cute and funny because I don't feel like I have small hands. And let's see where my wedding ring, which fits my ring finger, obviously, fits on your hand. You want to see where it fits? Come on! <laughs> That's where it fits. Mine now, my wedding sucker. Ring. Oh, it feels so naked. Sucker. Look, I got an imprint and all. <laughs> okay. But right, it like, is Marsha Brady. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. So I was like, okay, now never be haha, a team that's model. funny. Well, okay, it's my ring finger, and that ring is kind of actually big on my hand, by the way. It slides around a lot. So I was like, oh, let me see. Let me put the thumb I've worn on my ring since I was 13 years old. Let me try and fit it on your hand. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, ooh, almost, almost. Got it past the nail. That's awesome. So obviously it has to fit your entire pinky, right? Ah, uh -huh, mine, sucker. Here, you can have it back. I don't, I don't have. Don't cry. I don't think I have that small of hands. I think he has big hands. See, and it fits me fine. Ghostbusters Afterlife thoughts. Mm, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Did you uh, cry? I did cry. Yeah. Listen, if all right. Let's be real here. If you grew up loving the Ghostbusters, right? Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2. And if you watched Ghostbusters Afterlife and you didn't shed a tear or get teary-eyed, are you really a Ghostbusters fan? I mean, come on. They don't look that much smaller than each other. But they are. Oh, geez, I can't. You're not holding your hand right. I can't show them. So it's fine. Aha, sucker! You're you're not. You're no fun. Do you guys ever use a Ouija board? No. Um, we collect them, like vintage ones or whatever, but we've never actually used them. Right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I love these ears too. I just I got these today. By uh, her name actually is Beatrice, and she's called Label Neat by Beatrice. You can find her on Instagram, and she has a web page. And so I'm just going to remind you that anytime you see me wearing her themed Mickey ears, they are from her because I love her and she does amazing work. I actually have considered getting a tattoo on my, uh, my, my ring hand of a coffin. So that like, should my ring ever be destroyed for whatever reason, I have to replace it with something different. And I can't get one like that again. I would still have my coffin, like my original. Oh, this one, by the way, um, is from Coffin Gems. I think it's just coffingems.com. Also, they're on Instagram. I got this, obviously, like six years ago. So I don't know what they offer now. But um, they were affordable at the time. I do not know their prices now. But there's also a lot of other companies that make them now. So really just type in mm. Coffin Ring and you'll you'll find a bunch of them. Thank you, Katie. Katie says, really love that he does his nails. Not a lot of men will do that. Good for you, Michael. Well, thank you. Thank I you. made him start getting his and, nails And done. somebody said... What, what kind of nail polish do you use? I have no clue. It's gel nail polish? Yeah, so Michael is not a <clears throat> nail chewer. He's a nail tearer. I rip him. He rips them off. So his nails, his fingers are always in really poor condition. And we were working at getting his fingers back into better shape. And his toes, too, because now he gets pedicures and he gets his toes painted. 
and uh, we started getting him manicures and gel, gel, gel manicures so that it's hard, the polish hard, and so he can't just rip it off because it's too sturdy, too. Yeah. And I obviously get acrylics because these are not my real nails. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing to like hear as like the room went quiet a little bit you should spend as much time on this face as i spend on that one what does that mean is he talking about special effects wait michelle got her nose pierced today who my michelle? michelle yeah you're michelle my michelle got her nose pierced wait was it not already pierced i don't know that's what <laughs> matt just said you you would think that i know these things yes the movie did start the link is in the description below or pinned to the top of the chat. Well, and we are at 23 Michelle, minutes and 25 seconds. Michelle, you better send me a stars. picture if you got your nose pierced today. I can't believe I don't already have a picture. Oh, are you really friends then? Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Tramp stamp. Come on. I'm just kidding. Hopefully you yelled it and you woke up grandma. 23 minutes and 55 seconds. 55 seconds. Thank you. Matthew says he's making her send it to you. I mean, you. come on. We talk about our toots all the time. You didn't tell me you're getting your nose pierced and then immediately send me a picture. Wow, I thought we were close. Dude, <clears throat> she didn't send it because she didn't have makeup on. Of all the times that we've hung out, how many times have I had makeup on? Sometimes we do, Christy. Sometimes we do. You do not look horrid, ma'am. Half the time I see you, you don't have makeup on. But I actually, I understand taking pictures without makeup on because you, I feel like you feel that you look worse on camera than you actually do in person. I don't like taking pictures of me or being on camera when I don't have makeup on either because it just, it works. It looks... I feel like I look a lot worse on, on film, on camera, than I actually do in person. So I actually do understand that. I'm not, I'm not mad at you. I still love you. Joseph, hi. Ooh. <sighs> Favorite Joy Division song. I like Atmosphere myself. It's been a while since I attended the Maybe watch party. Paul. I might. Joseph, man, I do like them all. Oh, uh, God. Transmission. Atrocity exhibi Exhibition. Oh, what's There's that? not a single a Joy Division song phone. that I do not like, to be honest. So somebody asked, "Dude, you look, you look fine. You look lovely. Look, she got it's so small. I used to have the you know what? on the side. Why didn't she, if she's gonna send a photo? Why isn't she wearing makeup? I mean, come, come on, have some class, please. I'm just kidding, Michelle. Please. It's very beautiful. It looks great on you. Yeah, I really like it. I, I honestly, seriously. I was hoping that it was going to be a septum ring, but then I remember that you work in an office, and most people who work in offices are not allowed to have a septum it's ring. It's nice. I had to hide it's mine nice. all the time when I'm I, when I worked kidding about the makeup. when I was younger. I'm just kidding about the makeup. I've right considered repiercing the one on the side, too, just because like I have a scar there. I just kind of want to fill in the scar because it annoyed me sometimes. Because like the, the makeup gets stuck there like a little tiny miniature cake. Mm. Oh! Real quick, real quick, because some people have brought this up. They thought that we would be movie? talking about... Oh, I got a commercial. I got we'd be talking about the movie. So we do these watch parties nearly every week. Okay, And yes, it's movies playing. You can watch them at your own accord, at your own pace. Maz! Master Dick! Master Dick. I hope you guys are doing good today. Wanted to ask you guys, what's your favorite typo negative song? <sighs> Wolf Moon. Mine is Wolf Moon. Always has been. Always will. Uh, can I just pick a favorite album? Yeah, no. Yeah, you can. Because like the entire album to October Rust is my, yeah. is my favorite song. Um, I, 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 I listen to them so much back to back that I almost cannot tell you which song is which because it's all one song for me. But Wolf Moon, like, uh, uh, oh God, I can't answer this question. The songs are starting to, to play through my Wolf head. Wolf Moon, I think, is, is, is pretty across the board. And here. I'm feeling a little flustered. So thank you for that question. And thank you 
for the for the contribution. I I I I. So real uh, quick. Yes. Back to what I was saying there for a moment. Um, what were you saying? Exactly. <laughs> these watch parties. We had nothing to do with the making of these watch parties. All right. We don't have a TV show like Joe Bob Briggs who okay. plays a movie and then he puts himself in between there talking about different things about the movie. This and that little funny an antidotes. We started these watch parties as a way to hang out with people who didn't have anybody to hang out with or who were oh, feeling lonely. Yeah. And that's been the core of all this. So you can hang out with us and you can watch a movie or you can just hang out with us or you can just watch the movie or you can just say, eh, and turn James. it all off. Either way, we are here to hang out yes. with you guys. I actually, I have it. I own that, actually. I found a DVD of that Thank you, James. Um, when I was in my <clears throat> 20s at in the dollar bin at a, a Walgreens around Halloween. Yeah. I, I have the Nasiratu with a typo negative soundtrack. And it's like, it's it's my baby. It's my coveted price possession. Well, one of one of my typo negative. Price. Here we go. Speaking See what you did. Of... <laughs> Hold on. No, just now that we're talking about typo negative, mm. uh, one of the record companies released <coughs> like their entire um, collection on vinyl recently as like, a big box set. <clears throat> and I heard about it after it sold out, obviously, but the original price was like three, $400. And I was like, oh God, I'm never going to be able to own one of these because people are going to buy it and flip it for like a thousand. But I just want to see one. I just want to see one. Like, oh my God, I saw a picture of it and I, I, it hurt me inside so badly, but <clears throat> I am so lucky to have the October rust green vinyl from Germany that this beautiful creature right here bought me for my birthday a couple years ago. So sometimes it can be a little I'll hard, just, Christine. I'll just have to Christy, deal with it. But thank you for trying. She's in love with herself. I can attest to this. She likes the dark. Like do, slightly do, dark. Do, do. You know, sundown. It's going to play in my head until, until I Love in you. Love in you. Love, love in you. It's like. Ah, look who it is. <laughs> who is it? it? It was a joke. Andy Sandberg, <laughs> right there. Yeah, Wolf Moon is just a really amazing song, but like the entire freaking, the entire album. What do the tattoos on your hands mean to you? I'm not gonna get into it. It says Lost Soul, but it's a whole bunch to it. Every tattoo that I have is is personal to me. Um, every tattoo I have means something or has some sort of like, um, mm -hmm. roadmap of my life. And, um, it's, it's a lot to get into. It's a lot to get into. Some people get it cause it's pretty and some people get it cause they have meanings. Yeah. I, I'm definitely a person who gets them for, um, personal meaning, but. Cool. Allison, she found it. I don't think that like you know i'm getting a portrait tattoo of mina as a as a vampire bride and most people are just going to think that it's like something pretty but you know something that i've carried around as like being one of my favorite things and for like most of my life so does it hurt to get your tattoos done there uh on the fingers i have a very happen? high tolerance for pain so i couldn't tell you i fell asleep whenever i got my chest tattooed and the, the guy who did the tattoos, he woke me up and he's like, dude, are you okay? Are you okay? Did you pass out? And I was like, no, it just feels good. It was a deep massage. And um, he said that was the first time that he that ever did that. So, her, yes, tattoos hurt. Yes. Of course they do. They do. Um, the only question is, how much can you deal with? That's it. Yeah, that's cool, lady. We were talking about that not long ago. I don't think I've seen that one, Humanoids from the Deep. We finally did see the new Texas Chainsaw. Everyone was asking on the last live our opinions of it because it had just come out. And we finally saw it. 
You want to give your opinion first? No. No? Okay, I will then. Well, I, I don't I don't really want to give, like, movie opinions or, like, what I think about, like, movie movie stuff like that. I mean, most of the time you guys have watched it. And, I mean, you, you know all the stuff that's coming out. And, and you've either Hi, watched Germany. it or not. Hi. And there's a lot of questions that keep popping up. What we think of this movie. What we think of this movie. What we think of this movie. And what we think of that movie. It's all good and dandy. Um, and I, I don't know. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre watched it. Obviously, don't need to say it. the The first one, the original, is 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 a thousand times better than than this one yeah, was. Obviously, so was nail so was part would two be a better option, but it's just um, that happens. It's a silly question. I, I I don't know. Like it's the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre is not even in the same ballpark as mm -hmm. any of the other Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It was just like, yeah. And I don't want to get into it because it's a very political movie. Scenes. It's a very political movie and they touch on things that are like social commentary. And I don't want, I'm just like, I liked it or I didn't like it. I, I liked it, but I didn't like it. So yeah, if that makes sense. I liked some of the creative deaths, but I was not feeling the movie myself. I thought it was, Thank you, Osmodius. The Texas first Texas Chainsaw Massacre and then the second uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre are, are are the best. Everything Hi. else after that is just kind of like old, like not old, but just rehashing it. Michael oh, and Jessica, awesome. thank you for all the hard work. My new favorite video is Hi, Daddy Jessica. Long Legs. Hi, Jamaica. We were surprised at how well Daddy Long Legs did. I remember whenever, whenever I was out there filming it, I didn't think that anybody was going to give two two craps for it. Like people are just gonna be like, "Oh, whatever," and it was just gonna be like yeah. one of the worst videos. But a lot of people really took to it. I I love that they were. I mean, everybody for the most part who follows our channel loves that we capture a lot of the history here in um, Hollywood and across the United States as long as we can get there. And we that one wasn't particularly exactly horror you know um but the fact that you can still visit some of these locations that are 100 years plus old is just a very wow moment yeah especially when it hasn't changed that much very wow moment i i like whenever so, of, of course, you know, you get these locations that are 100 years old, right? And sometimes they've changed so much that you can't mm -hmm. even tell what it is. And then other times, torn down. It, it hasn't been, you know, it hasn't been changed. My favorite is whenever the location is still there, but it is hidden by buildings around it or something has built onto it. You can just, if you look at it just right, you can just make it out and you can see the magic there of how... You know, instead of erasing time or forgetting time, it was just it, it, the history was used to make something else. Mm -hmm. I always thought that was kind of neat. It's difficult to do with metropolises constantly growing, constantly changing, yeah. and natural disasters happening all the time, whether it's fires, hurricanes, um, war, as we're experiencing now over uh, in Ukraine and things like that. Um, Imagine everything that's being lost there right now, not just, you know, movie locations and things like that, but, you know, monuments, just history, yeah. history, history, homes, memories, you know, it, a memory doesn't have to be old to be cherished. But some of the old ones is worth keeping alive, you know, in these locations that we visit, but memories are, I think quite honestly is what makes us human is the way we live through our memories and the way that we can continue to grow and um revisit those emotions when we revisit those memories and for for some people like me i'm a, I'm a visual person so i sometimes need to visit these locations or see a photograph um to ignite a memory that I have because without being able to be in that location or seeing a picture of it happening or have when it happened, um, I can't recall that memory. I don't know if there's a condition for that, you know, a name, but um, that's, so that's why it's kind of a big deal to me sometimes is to keep those memories going, especially when something's about to be demolished. Cause that happens here all the time. 
Um, we, I, we've done a couple of locations where we were able to line up uh, movie shots and things like that. Mm-hmm. And then we would hear like a month later, oh, that got torn down or, oh, that, um, that was destroyed in a recent fire or, um, thank you, Mark. And things like that. Like, um, Halloween three. We don't know the damage that was done there, but we heard that they it basically. Well, we know the damage. We posted it. Well, like a picture, but we don't know no. if they tore it down after that because no. of a little bit of the damage. So, so. Mark, thank you. Hey guys, really thank enjoyed you, the Daddy Long Legs video. I'm glad you did. It, it was it was a lot of fun. It's an adventure video that we did. Um, so there's something extra special about going to a place and like and going on an adventure to find it, not knowing what to expect. You just go and then. It just it unfolds before you, and that's what Daddy Longlegs did for us. Um, the saw location video we did, Terry, man, that was a uh, that was an undertaking. It was. <laughs> Why did the boobies blow up? But thank you. No. Mariah Williams, do you think you guys will travel to the that. Midwest to check out haunted locations? Yes, and yes. Uh, stay tuned. We have some things coming this month. Well, actually, oh, that's cool, some Jesse. stuff. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Just stay tuned. We're gonna we're leaving on Thursday. I think that's the tenth, and then um, you'll see. Big secrets, really big secrets. A lot of the old black and whites really were just works of art. What they were able to do during that time, really wonderful. Speaking of things that are just groundbreaking, um, I've seen some posts going around on Facebook that I believe it's the Tokyo Theater is doing a live stage production of Spirit of the Way. And there was a handful of photographs that were attached that show the characters. Um, and it's one of the most impressive things I've seen to date as far as using puppetry and a style, um, especially to make an anime into a real life. It is like dead on accurate. They were not pulling any punches. They were not cutting any corners. They're like, if we're doing this, we're doing it right. And I am so jealous that I cannot see this in person because it's obviously over in Tokyo. But I, I hope that it travels because I think that would be very, very well received worldwide. Fingers crossed. Happy Halloween! Hi, England! <laughs> Michael is the only guy on YouTube who can walk around with a camera and not give us motion sickness. That is the greatest compliment we could ever get. Right. <laughs> Thank you. So you were so when when we were doing the uh, creature features episode, which you guys will see uh, afterwards, we were having dinner with the cast and and the crew behind it and jessica was explaining to them how i walk in order to get that perfect smooth and it's kind of comical to watch and i I can only imagine like when they're out in public walking with the camera gotta lean back there yeah (laughs) i don't i feel like it might be the uh my hair versus the uh there's a contrast it off yeah oh there we are sort of i think well, because um, if you guys have seen us out, mm. we've we have what's called a, a gimbal. It's not the brand name gimbal, but it is a gimbal for our camera. But that's not the only thing that goes into the filming being as smooth as it is. It's Michael learning to do certain movements and walk in a certain way that really makes it this, as smooth as you see it on camera. And I mean, it sounds silly, but it's true. Thank you, BB. Thank you, BB. Love you as well. Because, but quite honestly, he could like stomp around and just, you know, have a lumbering walk while he's holding us. And yes, it will be smooth. Er, but you will probably get a little jostling. You just won't notice it as much because the camera cleans it up a little bit from itself. Hi, Australia. 
but I mean, he's just used to to handle it in such a way that he's kind of perfected uh, that movement that you see. He just, he doesn't get to watch it. I get to watch him, which I think is hilarious. I'm going to film him doing it one of these days. Maybe so you guys can see it. This is, this is the gimbal that I use. Of course, it's all folded Michael down right now. Place. But this is, it's the, oh God. Zayun. Zayun, yeah, I think so. Weeble S. And simple, I mean, it, it holds the, the our Sony A7 S on this thing. And I just walk around okay. like so. And it even comes with. A little tripod so you can hold it and then what's cool is it's kind of a moonwalk in a way reverse maybe this comes off do you remember slaughter high i don't get the reference or why you keep asking it repeatedly and then i can like this first ground sweeping shots mm -hmm. i love this thing But we, I really try to make each video as cinematic as possible. I say that all the that time. True. Where yeah. you know, if, if you go to the movie, aside from watching a found footage film, I, I thought you were going to film what it looks like unlocked oh. with all the pieces moving. Uh, no, sorry. Right. Yeah. But like you know, when you watch a found footage film, it's all over the place. But I try really hard to make it as smooth as possible, as if you're watching a movie. Uh, forty-one fifty-five. We have considered doing outtakes. Uh, we really tried to do those in the beginning, but because we shoot in four K, the footage size is astronomical, and we were gonna like save pieces of footage um, to add to different parts or like make one big one. And uh, we have like we have upgraded a lot of our equipment to use the four K, and we quite frankly ran out of space and we have like not the biggest i'm sure i'm sure you could buy it bigger than what we have but we we bought the biggest that we could afford and when you don't have enough space just to edit another film then you realize you have to get rid of those little clips that you're saving because the files are so large well it's I can't believe someone's vacuuming at like 10 o'clock at night. That's so great. Every now and then we, we try to mix it up a little bit. For instance, the Sultan Sea video, if towards the very beginning, there is a, um, a little behind the scenes happening in the actual video enough, where, where I'm telling Jessica where to stand behind me while we're filming, trying mm -hmm. to line up a shot. Oh, thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Appreciation for the Grim Life. Oh, appreciation for you. Thank you, Mark. It means the world, man. We will be at Trans World this year, but we won't have a booth there. We'll be just be attending. Yeah. John, thank you. Diane, hello, friends. Miss doing this with thank you guys. You, John. It's been a while, Diane, since I've seen your name in here. Well, welcome. Hopefully you're doing good. Um, so like I was saying, the Salt and Sea video. Every time that we do a video, we're always learning things. We're always changing things up. We're experimenting, trying different techniques and doing that. Um, in that movie, The Salt and Sea, there's a scene at the very beginning where I'm telling Jessica to stand back here. Mm -hmm. And then I cut anyway, yeah, yeah. And then I, I, I cut it to us getting ready to talk. And it was like a little behind the scenes stuff. And I like the idea of doing that where it's like, Here's the finished product that you're watching, but mm -hmm. also at the same exact time on some sort of, it's a YouTube video, but at the same exact time, it's like, this is how we're doing it and trying to blend it all together in like one story. I think that's yeah, kind of cool. I, we kind of did start, instead of keeping, uh, you know, outtakes or whatever to ourselves and discarding them on, you know, the cutting room floor, we, cutting room floor, <laughs> apparently I'm French now. Um, <laughs> oh, she, she, wait. We, I, we, <laughs> It's not exactly an outtake that we keep in the shots, but it's kind of like a little more personable yeah. cut, I guess you could say. Maybe that's what you could call it. I'm, yeah. yeah. I think it'll be kind of fun, like different outtakes or different personal things that happen behind the camera that aren't specific to the story. Just putting them in there like little little drops of rain. Yeah. I don't know all the words. <laughs> CC, haha. Allison, man, you're getting the worst of it tonight. Ding, 
I haven't really told a good dad joke lately. Everybody, Jessica's like, thank God. No, you tell them to me all in person. You just haven't said one on camera in a while. I don't know what they're doing up there. I have no idea. This is this is new for us. Um, recently, <clears throat> our building has been just like lit at night. A lot of people throwing parties and being really loud. But I've never heard our upstairs neighbor oh, tramp stamp. vacuum or anything right? this late at night. So I'm almost kind of wondering if like something <clears throat> bad has happened. <gasps> Maybe they're cleaning up a murder. 45, 40. Tramp stamp. I don't know. It, it sounds like it's crazy upstairs. I don't know what's happening. Sorry if you guys can hear it and if it's disruptive, but you know we have no control over things like that. <laughs> so if somebody, all right, I'm gonna, oh, oh, I gotta point something out. Mm -hmm. Very important. Very important. Uh, I just saw it. Do do do. Sean Fleming. So Cecily Balanji said, Sean Fleming. I saw part of a cam of the movie The Batman, and I lost interest. And I love Batman. Oh no. That's your first mistake. Oh no. One hundred percent. 100% the biggest mistake you could have ever made. The Batman, Robert Pattinson's The Batman, is so dark. I mean, meaning the subject matter is dark, but also the cinematography is so dark. If you watch The Batman in a room with any kind of light, you miss it's ruin it. everything. Yeah, You have to watch it on a, the biggest screen you, you possibly say? can. <laughs> you have to I watch it. Batman. On the biggest screen you possibly can, whether it's your TV or a movie theater, and it has to be pitch black. If you do it any other way, like a cam, yeah, you're gonna hate it. You're gonna absolutely hate it. Afterwards, we're, like we can't wait to own the movie, and we were talking. Yeah. You know, sometimes three, you know, in the afternoon, three o'clock, you're like, I'm gonna put on a evidence. movie. Evidence. He could be vacuuming evidence. You can't watch this movie unless it's dark. I don't know. He, 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 it, I don't know. I don't know. Did, I'm sure you could use a vacuum when cleaning up after a murder. <laughs> if they somehow, but they, all right, this is, this is, all right. Unless the roommate was a vampire and they hit them with some sunlight and they turned to dust and then he's vacuuming it up. It doesn't make any sense. I'm sticking with the green for a while. I really do like it. I, I have like four bottles of green hair dye in my cabinet right now. So I don't have any. Um, I have no want or need to dye my hair any different color anytime soon. Allison, a lot of people only hang out with us instead, which is understandable. I mean, thank you. It's it's uh, to everybody who, who hangs out with us. The movie is fun. And I often tell people, yeah, it's a bit late you know, to the movie is for free and you can go back and you can watch it whenever you want. You know, you can watch it tomorrow or right after we're done. But this is just like a hangout time. Oh, that is so cute. What Crystal happened? Ultra just said, whenever I want my two year old to sit quietly and eat, I put on your Karate Kid location video because he loves it. That's the best fit, in my opinion. That, oh, my God. Oh, that's awesome. That's that's so cool. I'm calling it now. You will get a TV show someday. Dude, I don't even know how to say your name to, to even say hello. The Clint Cavanaugh. Declan Cavanaugh. What? What did you just say? I don't know. The Clint Cavanaugh. It's no. It's the real Carlos. Declan Cavanaugh. Love the Conjuring House video. In the interest of Dude Day being tomorrow, please consider doing a big Lebowski filming location video for Donnie. Donnie, who loved bowling. Oh, that makes the most sense. Sadly, all right, it'll happen. Trust me. I, I, it's one of those filming locations I've been wanting to do, but it won't happen tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're spending all day tracking down a murder and filming it. Oh, well, not filming the murder, but filming what happened, the murder that happened here in L.A. in the 80s. And we're going to bring it to you the next day. Dude, I don't, Be prepared. I don't think I've ever really known anyone named Declan before. And I did not know how to read it. How it's like the clanking of an all. The clank of an The clank of an 186. I took it as like D-E and then a name. And well, I obviously got well, how do you how, how do you say this? How do you say that name right there? Allison Bentley. Are you sure? Because that looks like allies. <laughs> beat lie. But no, that one has a space in it, so that was a little more obvious. I like ally song. Beat lie. 
It, things just got really weird. What about that one right there? Robert. That has a space in it. That's Robert Blake. Look, this is not an episode of Key and Peele. What about this one here? I'm not talking. Diane Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh. oh man it's all good one day you'll learn how to pronounce these names hello from joe and anna and mds just saw a great movie we go on a guy offers thirty thousand dollars to anyone who proves the existence of ghost demon or angel and hence the afterlife keep doing what you do that gentleman matter of fact was well, not from the movie, but it, um, it had to have been modeled after Bob Barker. No. Steve Irwin. No. Vincent Price. No. Albert Einstein. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alfred Hitchcock. Uh -uh. Roberto Clemente. Why are you still guessing? You know the answer. Thomas Jefferson. Oh, I'm leaving it alone. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you so much. Steve O. Oh, I know who you're talking about. I'm not talking oh, about. it makes sense. It makes Harry Houdini. <laughs> you fell for it. What? See, when you ask me questions, I am going the, to stop asking the you second questions. half of uh, Grim Up All Night. The second half, anytime she asks me a question, I'm just going to give the weirdest answers. See, watch. Ask, we, ask me a question. We do this when we're not doing lives, though, too. Come on. Come on. Ask Hi, me, Mario. Ask me a question. Hello, is it Mario or is it Mario? Mario? <laughs> Don't say that. She probably he probably, he probably hates that. <laughs> ask me a question. Come on, seriously, ask me a question. I tell you no lies. I got no answers. I got no questions to answer. Ask me a question. I got I got no questions. Ask me a question. I got no questions. Why not? Because I don't care. You only know the answer if you know the question. Uh huh. How many fingers am I holding up? Don't care. Wow. What is your favorite animal? Mine is a meerkat. I love meerkats. I think they're the cutest true. thing in true. the entire world. It's so weird. I never, of all the animals, I thought that you were going to say is your favorite animal. A meerkat was not on my list. So whenever we joined the zoo, yeah, like uh, we became members of the zoo, they yeah. gave us a membership card, and I kid you not, on the membership card are meerkats, yep. and I lost it. He lost it. I was like, mind. what? Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Um, What I think is the oh, copy. <laughs> greatest thing ever is that the other day he asked me, what are you, a bird? And I was like, if I were, you have to realize that you married a bird and someone who's been pretending not to be a bird and has tricked you into marrying a bird for these last years because maybe birds really are after you. So much they infiltrated your life by impersonating a wife. You being a bird makes the most sense out of everything we've ever done. What? Yep, yep, it makes sense. See? I'm a bird! No, I'm a bunny. No, I don't know what I am. I don't know what I would be if you, if I, if your person, if, okay, when you die, if reincarnation is a thing and you are reincarnated into an animal first and that is based off of your personality, I do not know. I would be like the weirdest animal. I do not know what animal I would become because there are too many things that I could possibly be reincarnated into. You would come back as a caterpillar that's in the in the in the middle of like becoming a butterfly. You're like, ah, so I'm all I over the place. I reincarnate and just automatically into a chrysalis. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that caterpillars don't necessarily have. A personality, they only gain personality. You don't know privilege. science. You don't know science. You don't know you science. science. You don't know science. Uh, hail to the kings and glory to the angels. What's up? Have you guys been to Sam Raimi's this year? No. Eh? Confused. Sorry, Chris. We did We did not bring the cross home. We get asked that a lot, but we, we did not bring the cross home. It was moldy. It was basically practically liquid. Uh, it was falling apart in my hand. There was just no way to pack it up and bring it home, so we left it. We we reburied it, basically. Reburied that baby. Can we do new movie locations? Everybody seems to do really old movies. We've done a lot of new stuff, too. Just uh, as we discover more history around where we live. Wait, are they saying new movies excited. or nude movies? 
new. Cause I don't know if we should be doing filming <laughs> locations to adult <laughs> movies. My wife said she knows I'll mm. come back as an ass. I think she means a donkey. <laughs> Wait, what? Someone said, my wife just said she knows that I will come back as an ass. I think she means a donkey. <laughs> I love it. Love it! I want to be the African shoe bill. That thing is crazy beautiful. I would love to touch one. I want to pet one. Yeah, we did. We saw, we got to film some of Pocus Pocus. Um, the new one, because they were not filming while we were there, but you could see uh, where they would be filming. And then we did the classic one also recently. Yeah. Somebody said, how was it filming the Us location this time since The Lost Boys? So we absolutely love going to Santa Cruz. We are in love with the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Mm -hmm. We even have a favorite restaurant on the wharf. Mm -hmm. All right. And so yeah. we went up there for The Lost Boys. <laughs> we did the filming locations to that. And the boardwalk was closed because we were there during the week. Off season. And then Caitlin, Caitlin from Portland, Oregon. Portland or what? Or what? Get it? Or what? So then we went back. Thank you so much, Caitlin. We went back. We did the filming locations to us. And again, it was closed except for on the weekends because it is off season. So when we were done filming with Creature Features, comment? we were coming back. And guess what? It was the weekend. So we got to spend two hours on the boardwalk, walking around, riding the haunted castle. We even rode the giant dipper. We had a lot of fun. And we became seasoned pass holders of Santa Cruz it was really Beach cheap. Boardwalk. It, it, it was so cheap that the parking was half the cost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I've never seen so much parking for one day, aside from Disney. <clears throat> Which you don't pay unless you have a season pass anyway, but they don't they don't actually have discounts on their parking for the for the boardwalk. So it's not that kind of place. We plan on going back there a lot. It's only like a four, maybe five hour drive, give or take, from where we live. Yeah. And we, we consider that yeah. see a lot of people here in LA, a lot of people Boogie, go Boogie. to what's known as Big Bear. It's like a camping Boogie area. Caramel apples. Our place is Santa Cruz. Caramel apples. We're like for me. going to the beach boardwalk. He doesn't eat either. Yeah, I hate foods that go crunch. This is true. Freaks me out. So, I don't, all right. I've talked about this in the past. There's a lot of new people here. I feel like I should let you in on some of my isms. Right? Right? right Say yes. Jim, yeah. Isms. Number one. That's why I say isms. Number one. Yeah. I have a strong disliking of birds. I do not like yes. winged creatures that fly and go ka and peck peck. All right. They freak me out every time and they make me nervous. So nervous, I might pee a little. What? Not going to happen. Two. Okay. I have a severe aversion. Fabric. To fabric. fabric. Folded fabric. That's like. Folded fabric freaks something. me out. Folded yeah. For instance, so you lay down, right? You lay down and let's say that this is your sheet, right? Look at that. Look how smooth. My shirt is, right? Now, if you lay down and you move and your sheet on your bed does this, and all of a sudden you're laying on this line, this folded do it, line, King. Do freaks it. me out. I can't do it. I freak out. Fabric, fabric, fabric. I start freaking out. I believe Arsenic and Old Lace was all on a stage. Um, I, the outside scenes that may have been on location, but I think those were mm -hmm. also on a stage, actually. Um, I'm not done with my I would love to go to India, and I would love to go to China. Um, oh, there's more. Okay, so the, the fabric thing, though, like, what we could be cuddling on the couch, and I'll go to, like, lay on him, mm. and I'll get all comfy and everything, he'll start fidgeting, and then he'll start screaming, fabric, 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 and he'll, like, he's going like this, like, he's like, you gotta move, I gotta move my, my, the, my fabric, and he has to, like, whatever he's laying on, he has to straighten it out. <laughs> Yeah, so it, it's a real thing, and I don't cuddle with him on the couch anymore because he just starts screaming fabric and he can't get comfortable. We do time. cuddles. Not not like not like that. Not. We're not like, hey, let's lay down and watch a movie. No, freak like, I, out. Can't, I can't like lay on you and stuff. No wrinkles. wrinkles yeah, no out. wrinkles. Yeah. Those two. The third one, I I cannot eat. I cannot. The fabric is going to kill him. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my god. Oh my god. The worst thing ever. Ready for it? Sheets with birds on them. <laughs> what the heck? 
All right. I cannot eat food that has a bone in it. I cannot touch it. But I can I can be bone it for him and he's right. fine. But if it's on my plate yeah. and I'm the one that's ripping the the, 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 the meat from the bone, F that. I yeah. can't do it. I, I can do it. He can watch it. me do it either. Nope. He, he, I can do it right in front of him. Not a problem. <laughs> he eats it just fine. And then the other one, I, I do not like eating foods that I oh, have to awesome, bite into. Like an apple. You'll never see me that eat an crunchy. apple. Yeah. Crunches, no. Hard candies, no. Can't do it. Nope. Crunch, crunch. Nope, nope. Even popsicles. He doesn't buy popsicles either. Mm. I was like, what a fucking freak. Wow. I said what I said. What are my isms? Me. There. <laughs> <laughs> Would we ever move back to Savannah? Probably not until we're like 85. Never going to move back to Savannah. Not that we don't like Savannah. We love Savannah. It's just, it's 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 beautiful. It's beautiful mm -hmm. to visit. We lived there for quite some time. And um, yeah, I have texture <clears throat> things. I, I don't eat so, certain things because of textures if we're talking about food. But I don't know. I don't know if it's more of an ism, like in a bad way, like yours are bad isms, but mine would be like, if I walk into a store and there's like that teddy bear material <laughs> or something that just looks really fluffy, I have to touch it. I'm a very touchy person. I'm a very textile person. If I meet you, and this happens with girls all the time, I probably have to touch your hair. Or her, or their boobs. Or, <laughs> I, try, I try to refrain from that one. <laughs> Because it goes back to all my old friends. We were all in burlesque together and um, it's, it's boob jokes for days, you know. Um, I like, I, yeah, I'm a very textile, touchy-feely person. I'm very affectionate. I love to hug people. Um, yeah, if, if we meet, I'm probably touching your hair. I mean, I touch guys' hair too, though, but usually they have stuff in it, so I, I don't, but... Yeah. Somebody asked if they did a remake of The Birds, oh, and they um, asked me to be in it, would I? You're darn right I would, and you know what? I'd win an Oscar for you, my Terry. performance. Terry asked what were our thoughts on American Horror Story. Which one? Ooh, yeah. So, okie dokie. You have a favorite, and I have a favorite. They're my not the same. favorite. I like Sushi Michael Dozen. That's right. American Horror Story season happens to be Asylum. Love it. Magical. There's nuns, creepy as F. Um, the next one I like is the camp one. I like the camp. Camp was fun. It got the a little boring like midway through, but. Um, I did not, believe it or not, believe it or not, I did not like Coven. Coven's my least favorite. I Everybody Coven. loves Coven. Coven was fine. Coven was fun. Um, the hotel was one of my favorites. And the first season was one. I'm probably I'm tied for those two to be my favorite seasons. Roanoke, Roanoke actually creeped me out in the beginning. She got the scared. first couple of episodes. Oh, what you know when you get yourself into a mindset and like <clears throat> I'm watching it in the middle of the night by myself, complete silence. Like, hey Blake, good morning. Uh, hi Blake. Blake, good morning. Go good morning. Good morning, Scotland. Um, Lock and Key was cool. I was going to say something that was specifically Scottish, and then I completely forgot everything I've learned. Pop and part. honestly, it would be from uh, mm. Still Game anyway, so I just really quote that TV show because I love them tremendously. I haven't seen it in so long. I'm starting to forget things. Oh, my gosh. Tramp stamp. Tramp stamp. Did you, did you ask your grandma? What the tramp stamp should I don't be? Don't have any. One hour, three minutes, thirty-five I don't have any seconds. Grandma's. Look at this! Look, look, I just learned something. What? Oh, well, that was different. <laughs> oh, the new American oh, Horror Story is phenomenal. But to be fair, we only watched the beginning of season ten, where they were up in like the Cape Cod area. Yeah, we didn't see any of the cool other the part beginning. of it. Now I feel like they're just trying to like be like M Night Shyamalan, where like there's always a twist at the Whoa. end or something. Don't you dare use his name like that. His name is M. Night Shamalama Ding Dong. M. Night Shamalama Ding Dong. Lama, Lama, Lama. Lama, Lama, Lama. Lama, Lama, Lama. Everyone just likes saying the word Lama. 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 We do got to watch was the second part. Was there a part. second part? Yeah. Is there a second part? Yeah, that's the whole thing where there was like vampires, aliens. 
I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, I love High Spirits. I've loved that since I was a little girl. One of my favorites. We oh, have a PlayStation. Michelle, we have seen the uh, the Batman. We love the, the Batman. Batman. We love the Batman. Yeah, we do have a PlayStation. Who asked if we had a PlayStation? Um, it was Declan. Declan, we do have a Declan. PlayStation. We have a PlayStation Four. Um, although the new Evil oh. Dead game that's coming out, we pre-ordered it for PlayStation Five, which means at some point soon. We're going to be getting a PS5. For all my 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 Celtic, Irish, and Scottish watchers right now, this is probably the most... Whoa, she lost a head. ...Scottish I could get um, in a saying, <laughs> and it would probably just be, get it up, yeah. <laughs> get it up, yeah. Yeah. Um, and we have adopted the uh, English bird instead of the American bird. We are constantly flipping people off, and they have no idea. Oh, I thought I was just telling people peace. Not backwards, you're not. <laughs> yeah. Very accurate? Okay. Because <laughs> in my head, that sounds like the most Scottish thing I could probably say to somebody is get it up, you. Get it up, you funny. Um. Oh, shoot. I forgot what was the one thing that I said. It was such a small line, and someone completely called me out as being a still game fan. And I was like, wow. Like, you know your shit. We love you too! Suzuki, how old are we? I'm going to be 40 in April. I'm old. <sighs> No. Horror fan addict says, Michael and Jessica, I love your videos. I work for Universal Orlando and wanted to know when you guys are planning to come back here. Mm, Possibly yeah. in the June. June. In the June for in Spooky June. Empire. And we are excited about visiting Universal Orlando again. Um, I have to show you. Somebody asked what our favorite vampire was in movies. And we're kind of traditional. We like to say Bela Lugosi. But it Bela. got me thinking... That we bought something recently. Now, obviously, people are like, oh, my God, look, they collect records. Oh, there's records. Well, these are actually new laser discs that we picked up from Amiibo. Yeah, they are not vinyls. They are laser discs. So here's the Criterion Thank Collection you, Thank of you, David sweetheart. Bowie and the Man Who Fell to Earth. Ooh. Ooh. Great movie. Ooh. If you haven't seen it, you should. We hone it on laser discs. I don't mean We got, we've also picked up <laughs> laser discs, Whoa. reservoir dogs, chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie. They picked up the classic Young Frankenstein. So happy for that. I'm sorry, Young Frankenstein. Oh, yeah. So, this is what made me think about it. Um, Frank Langella in Dracula. This is probably my least favorite Dracula. Really? <laughs> yeah. But that's a hard choice. I don't know. There's a, so many Dracula. It's a. We had to get it because it's on Laserdisc. What's the difference between Laserdisc and vinyl? Not the one kill. Oh, here Completely you go. Completely different. Play so these are movies. Yeah, these are movies. And these are, are what came out before. It's like DVD a giant CD. Out. Yeah, it's, it's exactly like a giant CD. So there was VHS, then there was Laserdisc, and then there was DVD, and then Blu-ray. So yeah, uh, Natural Born Killers. And then vinyls are obviously. Um, Music. Wait a second. We do have a, a laser disc player. We do. Yeah. It is old as dirt. You have to turn it on and then wait for it to warm up. They're they're fragile, man. They're fragile. Yeah, they're basically a monster size CD. We also yeah. picked up Romancing the Stone. Yeah. Ooh. The great Jim Carrey. Look at that. And we actually have a really big laser disc collection. Oh, look, 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 Jim this is just the ones we got this week. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We got Tim it. says, I'm the same age as Halloween and I love it. That's a beautiful age to be. Practical magic. Yeah, beta was before VHS. Then there's VHS. Then there was actually um, a video disc. Then laser disc. Time then bandits. The, uh, then beta and VHS. I mean, DVD. DVD, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Some records. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got Valerian on vinyl. These are records. And then yeah. It Follows. This is probably one of my favorite I forgot that I got Valerian on vinyl. Give me. I open Oh, it follows. Yeah, that's yeah. An, that's amazing. The music to it follows is phenomenal. 
Uh, let's see, Dark Crystal, Dark Crystal. This is all Jaws. Oh, yeah. Yes. Harold and Maude. Oh, yeah, we have these on DVD and Blu-ray, too. We just really love the old school. Yes. It's like collecting VHS so, again. Two, because, different version, yeah. two different versions of Harold and Maude. Yeah. Mm. Nerding out here. And yes, so we do watch of, it. Um, we were talking about this on the last live, that there's a lot of movies that were released on Laserdisc that was Criterion Collections that did not make it over to DVD or VHS as Criterion. Like Halloween. Herod of Mod is an amazing movie. Is is Matt and Michelle still with us? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen them in a minute, I think. <laughs> hey, Nose Pierce Girl. Claire. Oh, that's fun. That's very cool. Matthew's here. Yes. So, yes. <clears throat> when we get back. Remember what I said about the laser disc. We have to have you guys over, and you guys get to pick which laser disc we're watching. So deal with it. Thank you. Or I else. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. We love you too. <clears throat> hey, Michael Jessica, got a question for you. Would you guys think of Dead Silence? I don't remember that movie. Me I don't. I, I think it's the one with like the puppet or the doll that does this. I don't really remember it, though, to be mm -hmm. honest. Uh... I gotta, I gotta Hello, watch. England. Time Bandits. Michelle wants to watch Time Bandits. I don't think we have Time Bandits on... Or we can have Buckaroo um, Bonsai. Um, yes, we do. We just got it right there. And we also uh, have it on, on disc. Buckaroo Bonsai. Yeah, when, when we move into our new place and get uh, couches that fit more than two people, because I accidentally bought a love seat, we will definitely have you guys over. For I sure. thought you bought it because you loved me and you wanted to sit close. Why? When all you do is scream about fabric. Birds. <laughs> Hello, Las Vegas. Vegas. I like to say that sometimes, like, I'm announcing, like, a sports match in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. My first DVD <clears throat> player cost $800 in 1997. My laser disc was 500 Wait, a laser disc, like, modern that you bought? Or back when you bought it when it was new, it was 500 Hello, Holland! Now I want to watch Time Bandits. We don't have um, a time frame from when we're going to do our European tour. Yeah. Um, just everything that's happening right now, there's really no traveling happening between international locations. So when things get better and they open up air travel again and we can really not certify, but we, we need to be able to know that we can get home and that we're going to be safe and that things aren't going to go crazy while we're over there. So it's, it's probably going to be a while. We were supposed to go this year. We were going to come this year. Um, oh, thank you, but, Kim. You know, things happened Born with the Germany pandemic and, and then was released. now the war. So thank you, Kim. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. <clears throat> I'm very terrible. I really don't know any language fluently. I just only know like two or three words in each. Thank you, Julie. I remember getting a DVD VHS combo for like $350. Cha cha. Man, that must have been brand new when that came out. My gosh, $350 for, you mean the player or the television? Because my favorite thing was always the television that could play a VHS <sighs> and the, the DVD. And they were those little, little guys that played both. I, I kind of want one again, even though I have no use for one at all. Thank you. Thank you. What was your <laughs> first DVD? I don't know. My first DVD was Flatliners. It was just a player. Okay. I remember I bought. It was probably a new one. I bought the movie Flatliners. Like that was my first one. Really good at a player. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I have an advice. Is that what you just said? And Jessica, if Tubi goes out like last time, get a DVD. The DVD is your friend. Trust me. Get a DVD just in case my Wi-Fi goes out. 
Oh, we have lots of. I have yeah. a lot of DVDs. I have. We have lots of Blu-rays, lots of 4Ks. We have players. Well, thank we you, have Julie. Digital and all that stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of things. We we have basically everything in every format. We have VHS, laser discs, DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks. You name it, we got it. I see a lot of those five CD stereos mm. at like the thrift store. I want to mm. get the set so badly because like that was the thing to have. So, that like stacked system that had like, you know, could play with all the trouble buttons and stuff like that. And then the tape deck was on the bottom and then the CDs Richard were on top. Richard Baird, thank, thank you. Thank you, Richard. So thank you so much. Uh, Rugi says, where, when are you guys having a meetup? Where do you want this meetup to occur? Because we have a lot of different meetups coming, and there's different yeah. things. And where where, where where do you want this this meetup to happen at, Rugi? I paid under a hundred dollars for my old Orion. I think this would be Orion. I paid six hundred each for my two Sony Blu-ray players when Blu-ray was new technology. Damn things don't even work right. You know, I I have one in the other room that was probably our first. 3D Blu-ray player. We got into the 3D game for a while. And uh, <laughs> that thing is on its last legs. Like, Jason, it does, it's, thank It's about you. to go out any moment. Thank you, Jason. Jason Chandler. Where do, I know your face from somewhere. I'm not sure where it is, where from, though. Right? I know your face. I'm familiar. I, Southern I honestly Cali. do not know what my first... Mm. DVD was that I had, I had purchased. I honestly don't know. So, Rugi, uh, as of right now, we don't have a meetup set up. Next thing that we're definitely doing here in Southern California is going to be Midsummer Scream. What are your thoughts on Rob It's going to be on Long Monsters. Beach. I'm sure something's going to come before that. When it does, we'll announce it. Rob Zombies, the Monsters. I'm I'm excited. Thank you, horror fan addict. And after talking um, with Phillips. Oh, yeah. He's I'm so much really fun. excited about it. Oh, thank you, Kim. Hi. She says, we Which have is... a pear fest in Petoskey, Michigan. Hopefully, you guys can come sometime. We'll check it out, man. Pear fest. Yeah, I remember when, when DVDs were still kind of new. And I was trying to track down a movie that I had seen from the rental store. And you had to, like, go through their website at the time when you know, the internet was so new. And just to get a copy of it as a DVD, they were trying to charge you like $800 or something like that. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, thing, things are crazy. And nowadays, you can almost pay the, the same price for, for buying a VHS sometimes because they're, they're becoming that rare. People make them into art pieces now and lights and other things and they destroy them to turn them into other things. So they're not, they're not making any more of them. I, I've come to the realization that, oh, so when we're at Midsummer Scream, because we're going to be there as guests. Some of the different guests that are going to be there are Herman Munster we and Gramble Munster from Rob Zombie's The, the Monsters. And like I, I think that if I think people are on the fence about The Monsters, and I feel like if you go into Rob Zombie's movie, this is just my speculation. If you go, my observation, if you go into Rob Zombie's movie, The Monsters, mm -hmm. expecting it to be just like the TV show, you're going to hate it. Yeah. You, Rob Zombie is very good at making things his own image. Yeah. Whether you agree with it or not, he's good at this going, is this is history. what I want and this is what I'm doing. F you to everybody else. Um. But he loves the monsters, so he's got that going on. Right? He loves the original show, but don't go into it thinking no. you're gonna, you're going to get the monsters. You're yeah, going to get a reimagined yes. monsters. Yes. Have you been to Zach Baggins Haunted Museum in Vegas? We yeah. haven't. That's we probably, stood out front of it. It's probably like one of the the one of the top five most asked questions we get is if we've gone to the Zach Baggins Haunted Museum. And uh, to be quite frank, we went by there once, wanting to go, found out the price, and then we're told there was like a three hour wait. To start because I don't remember. It was a really stupid reason and I don't remember why. And we we're just kind of like, does this happen every time? And they're like, mm, yeah, it's like a three hour delay. And we're like, we don't have that kind of time. 
we're we're literally on the road as a living. We drive for a living. We go visiting all these places. We do not have three hours to wait, you know, for somebody to show up. To I don't I don't remember what the issue was, but um, someone asked. I I just caught it really quickly. If we're going to be doing um, the Orlando convention, Spooky Empire, Spooky Empire, we're in talks. Nothing is set in stone. We are in talks. Interest has been acknowledged that, yes, we want to be there. And Spooky Empire wants us there. Mm -hmm. But we're still in talks trying to figure out how to make that happen. I would absolutely visit the locations for Midsummer. Yeah. yeah. And I, I want to be able to push a dummy off the cliffs. Yeah, you know, it's Filled with fake blood in it, space. It's pronounced Midsummer. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's pronounced Midsummer. Mid Solmar. Mid Solmar. I don't know. We're, we're just being silly at this point. Oh, that's cool. 8485. I still got my VHS from the Lost Boy signed by the two Corys. Wow. That's cool. That's Teresa insane. Puller, Wicker Man. Old version or new with Nicolas Cage? Old. 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 Old, old version was creepy. Yeah. The newer version was kind of like a mystery thriller like what the heck's going on the first one was just creepy which is i think how it was intended is that ghost yes 100 percent. i thought yeah happy halloween oh god cecily I think it's Sicily. Cecil. Ah. Cecil. Cecil. Man, now you're messing me up. You're welcome. Have a good night. Take care of your little ones. Good night. Good night. Hello, Germany. Hello. Did I miss the boobies again? Oh, so sad. You've been missing the boobs. I miss. I didn't know there were that many boobies in this movie. I would have been like. So, Midsummer Scream. We talk about that a lot. We're gonna share as gifts. And Roebuck is going to be there as well as Phillips. And I'm hoping, Jessica and I were talking about this today. So Midsummer Scream here in LA, Rob Zombie's The Monsters. Grandpa Monster and Herman Monster are going to be there signing autographs. We're going to be there signing autographs right next to them. I'm hoping and praying that Rob Zombie and Sherry Moon Zombie come Stop on by. by to say hello to yeah, their friends. Sweet. And I'd be like... yeah. The heckins, you say? That'd be awesome. <clears throat> I would I would not know what to say. I'd just smile and be like, hi. Horror Fan Addict 78 says hi. Evil Dead 2 was just so... What did he say? Uh, so stupid. Not a horror film. Not calling you out on it. Evil Dead 2 is not stupid. Evil Dead 2 is is is, is phenomenal. It wasn't meant to be a horror movie, was it? It, wasn't. it was, it was supposed to be comedy. like a comedy horror yeah. movie in preparation for Army of Darkness. Right. But Evil but Dead 2... They basically two, remade the first one yeah, just, it's just as a comedy. Yeah, it, exactly. Basically, yeah. It, Evil Dead 2, basically, if you think about it like this, is a remake of the first one so they can mm. make Army of Darkness. Which was an interesting <clears throat> move. I mean, I don't have... I can't think of any other films that have done that, really. They were like, well, we made the first one, and it was great. But we kind of wanted to make a comedy, but we need a leeway. You know what? We're just going to redo the first one and make it a comedy also and call it number two. I think it's the only one of its series. I guess you would call it a series. Back so, in yeah. the day, I think you could do that. I don't think you could do that today. There are two kinds of people. Those who love Evil Dead 2 and those who are wrong. Oh. <laughs> Those are some harsh words, my friend. That's my friend. <clears throat> but no, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. It's it's perfectly okay. Yeah. 100% safe it's place. So it's just e Evil Dead 2 is just it's just 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 freaking awesome. Freddy or Jason? <laughs> no, Freddy. Freddy versus Jason. For me it's always going to be Freddy. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. And I, I know that Jason was one of the first. I don't know if Jason or Michael came first. I want to say Michael came first. But Friday the 13th, for me, growing up, and even now as an adult, did not 
interest me. And every time someone would like get excited and I'd see them wearing like <clears throat> the mask, right? The hockey mask when I was younger, I, I would just roll my eyes. Like, why do you like this person so much? The storyline is so bad. And as I got older, I came to appreciate it more, but he's still <coughs> probably my least favorite yeah. slasher. Like we like we the share movies Friday the 13th. Yeah. We like them. We like them. We'll watch them. We'll enjoy them, but not as much as Halloween. Halloween. Or, yeah. yeah. Halloween just sends me like, I, I think of Halloween and I'm in a good mood. You know, it, it has that. Michelle says Michael and Jessica are my version of Rob Zombie and Sherry Moon Zombie. Aww. All of them. This is Michael Because Grimm he puts and... me in all of his movies. Oh. Oh. Gosh, that was a good one. That was good. <laughs> that was good. That was good. You're my muse. I miss Blockbuster. Brian Lewis. Seen Rob a couple years ago in concert and he was amazing. Cool, man. I saw him live. Many, 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 many moons ago. I, I've never seen him live. Halloween 4, 5, 6, and H2O, all awful. You know, a lot of people, including diehard Halloween fans, will, will agree with you that those movies were awful. Me, on the other hand. I just thought they were kind of funny. I love. I know they weren't intended to be funny. I, I adore each and every Halloween movie. Because if it's bad, you know what? It's fine. It's, you know it's it's part of the Halloween world. You got to experience the Halloween world in that way, the same way that us nerds with sci-fi and got to experience it with like how bad Star Trek was that they kept giving us the sequels. Oh, they were so bad. And then when we when we finally started getting some of the first comic book movies, which were X Men. I mean, yeah, they'd been doing the Batman <clears throat> series and all that. But when they finally really diving deep into the nerdiness of nerdy comic book movies, which was X Men. Kim. Thank you. What was that? Like the first six <laughs> movies were just filth. We're awful. We're, but we're still sitting here going, I'm so happy right now to be watching this just because it exists. That means that maybe in the future they'll make something cooler. I can't wait for the next one because everything gets improved on, right? And then they continue to give us eight movies of complete trash. Speaking of Michael Myers and Halloween... How awesome Michael Myers is. Thank you, Kim. Thank Supposedly, you. there's rumor that there's going to be a new Austin Powers movie. No, uh <laughs> There is not. That's a lie. Michael Turns Myers out, is just everywhere. I finally watched Freddy vs. Jason. I wasn't a bit surprised they both survived. Spoiler Jason comes out of the water with Freddy's head. Freddy winks. Teresa G. Wow. Thank you. Spoiler. Yeah. Wow. You spoiled what? it. I didn't wow. even see the movie. We just showed it on our watch party. <laughs> Never heard of the movie, but thanks for ruining it. Nick now I can't Austin watch Powers. it. Yeah, right. <laughs> wow. Wow. Michelle's never seen Halloween. Man, you got to go back Whoa. to the originals. Whoa. Whoa. Now we're going to be nice. It's okay. There's plenty that I haven't seen. It's okay, Michelle. Groovy, baby, yeah. I'm Michelle. I, I can't do this no more. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm was, was that the final straw? That was the you, final straw. Okay. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. That was the chicken wing. Bone-in chicken wing that broke Michael's back. Yeah. I'm just kidding. It's all right. You need to watch it. Need is the key word. Need. Five times a day for two Screen years Factory's straight. Screen Factory's been releasing some really beautiful stuff lately. Screen Factory and um, one of our other favorites is Arrow. I personally <clears throat> really like Arrow better than I do Screen Factory. I think Screen Factory's been doing it so long that they kind of forgot to start putting some of the beauty back into the cases. And Arrow was like, I got you. Well, yeah. I mean, like Screen Factory put some really nice stuff out. Oh, but like their, their stuff all starts to kind of look the same. Yeah. Like the covers for Scream Factory. And it, it's weird because it'll be like Scream Factory and it's got a slip cover and it says collector's edition. And it's like, really? Yeah. Come on. Like um, Arrow, man, they've been putting out like <laughs> double discs, book inserts, like all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Tramp I, stamp. I just like their, I like their cases better too. Tramp stamp. 
We're looking at one hour, yeah. 28 minutes. We're very excited and five for Fright Night to finally get released in 4K. That's yes. one of Michael's favorites. I just bought um, Escape from LA. In 4K. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. I thought I was a diehard horror fan until I met my husband. I feel like he's shown me so many new horror movies I've never seen or heard of before. That's also unusual, Alice. I love when things like that happen because, and it's so true to this day, even in the, in the age of technology, that a lot of the films you might not know because you're not being introduced to them personally, either by a friend, boyfriend, wife, you know, whomever. Um, even if you hear about things online in a forum, you don't often like, you know, first thing you don't do is to go run, unless it's something that's on Netflix and that's really easy to get to. Um, that's one of the reasons why I love Shudder so much is because they are focused on the one genre to get all those movies out to people that you might not have seen because there's so many that have been made that never made it from like, say, VHS to DVD, from DVD to Blu-ray, et cetera. You know, there's, there's so much lost history in movies and the horror industry I'm in, in general, honestly, in general. So one of my all time favorite movies, obviously Halloween. All right. I love Halloween. I love Halloween. Michael Myers. Is, <laughs> I love, love, love escape from New York. Did you see that? Escape from New York. Escape from LA is one of my all time favorite movies as well. A lot of people laugh at it. Uh, they were talking about the same thing. Yeah. And uh, I would do the same thing. Like, man, escape from LA is awesome. I love Snake Plissken, which mm -hmm. name Snake Plissken. Mm -hmm. You want me to do what? I think Shutter is only like five dollars or something. Something Maybe like seven. that. Yeah. I really don't know. We have it, but I don't. I don't remember what how much it is. Eric, love the Houdini episode. Did you know that the Rialto Theater for Cinema and Video was where Phantom of the Opera Twenty Five premiered in LA in nineteen twenty five? I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very Thanks cool. For us know that's cool, man. I just watched us because of your guys' video. It's a great movie. If you don't pick at the storyline too much. Yeah, like, man, like every movie people make, you know, there is so easy to pick at the storyline. And sometimes you just gotta let it go and have fun with it. And Like, so yeah. the thing that always cracks me up about movies, and I'm not going to get into this. I'm just going to make a statement. Everybody always has like, I mean, of course, right. over Chris, time, yeah. people put in all kinds of film theories and hidden meanings and social Shutter, commentary no, and all this jazz. But when it comes down to it, movies are supposed to be an, an escape from reality just for mm -hmm. a little bit. A suspension of belief, right? Use your imagination. And like... It's so easy to pick apart movies and say, oh, why did this happen? Or, or like, this and that. But you just have to, like, sometimes you just got to turn it all off and just enjoy the story. Unless something, like, really obviously happens on camera and you're going, huh? <laughs> like, here's my biggest thing. Okay. I bring this up all the time. House of a Thousand Corpses. Right? The Firefly family. Otis Driftwood. Bill Mosley's character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imagine him sitting down at the kitchen table on a Monday night writing out the electric bill. It's like, just who, weird. Who pays their bills? They, no, right. one, no, everybody always has power. Who's paying everybody? Oh, the bills? damn bills came in. I gotta lick a stamp. Right? right. Like it does, it's just like these killers. Like who's? Uh, right. Well, you never see them take a pee either, but they do it. <laughs> I guarantee you. <sighs> It's just those things you're not supposed to think of when they're, you know, running around killing peoples. Do you feel that the world could benefit from a remake of Big Trouble in Little China? If they, if they remake Big Trouble in Little China... Well, they were talking about it with The Rock, if I remember correctly. And The Rock was like, hell yeah, I can do this. I can, I can give that movie justice. And it's like, no, you can't. No one can. That movie is a one and done. They'll remake it. Obviously. They'll remake it. They'll I will try. Be so upset. It's like it's. They're, this is what will happen so if they if they remade Big Trouble in Little China. You'd get the modern day Pet Cemetery. Oh, uh, hi, paranormal. People underwear. will like it, but hi. compared to the original, there's there's no reason. Supposedly, H H N Orlando is going to have Alien. That could be cool. That could be cool. Conk, conk. 
I would be interested in that. No, I don't want to bring back old Jack Burton. I'll cry. I'll just flat out cry. Oh, good night, Mathedic. Thanks for hanging out, honey. Good night. Good night. Who makes yeah, it? Like, I mean, they're always going to remake stuff. But you, nothing we say. The only time that I feel like people listened when they announced that they were going to remake a film and people actually responded was when The Rock was redoing, um, well, not redoing, and this is why he spoke out, when they were going to tackle Jumanji. And everyone lost their fucking mind because it didn't need to be redone. And it has our beloved in it, and we don't want anything redone from one of his movies because, you know, respect the man. Um, and the heat that they were getting online, he actually responded and it was like, we're, it's not a remake. We promise you we are going to give it the respect it deserves. That's a good point, something. James. Um, <laughs> Can you imagine if they, they mm-hmm. reimagined it? Yeah. That would be cool. That would be cool. Um, I would like to see if they did a Big Trouble in Little China, I would like to see a Chinese lead. So, speaking of Big Trouble in Little China, have you guys, if you're here watching this and we're talking, have you guys... Yeah, the new Jumanji's are amazing because have you, they didn't redo it. Yeah. Have you seen our filming location video of Big Trouble in Little China? If you haven't, oh, so you much fun. watch it after this. I love Chinatown. So, so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dave. So, you gotta watch it now, That's Thomas. Right. You gotta... You gotta watch it. Wow. Good night, everyone. Only we'll if, have watched. Only if he came back and redid it, again. but like he made a cameo in it as like the old Jack Burton, but now there's like not a not a new Jack Burton, but a new lead continuing on the storyline. Like we'll have a Ooh. Chinese lead as if it, you know. Instead of Jack yeah. Burton, they could have Lance Burton and he does magic. Because Lance Burton is a magician. And then he could fight the the guys, the Raidens, the crazy hats. Right? And, and, you know, it is what it is. Oh, would you look at that? The time has come. We must disappear into the night. I can't believe he said that. I said what? <laughs> you never know. He's a magician. He's magical. Or Jackie Burton. Huh? What? Yeah. Huh? Or Tim Burton. Oh Thank my you. God. Tim Burton should be in the movie and he's himself. Oh, it's it's magical. I don't like where this is going. I, it's not going anywhere. I'm hungry. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that, that doesn't explain much, but okay. With that being said, guys. Thank you, Teresa. Teresa. Thank you for joining us for another grim ah, all, all night. night. My back popped when I did that. It's a workout. No, I've been slouching like this whole time. And like when I move, my back pop. <laughs> We're going to get off here. Hopefully you enjoyed the movie. Hopefully you hung out with us and you enjoyed one. hanging out. Look, yeah. It's a little all over. The, it's always all over it's, the place. It's a bit cheesy. But sometimes like you just got to mm. watch the cheesy ones because they're hilarious and they got big blood and tits. I mean, what more can you ask for? If you were waiting to watch the movie after we were done oh, you, talking, hopefully I see you at Transworld we'll on there. Saturday. We're there all weekend. Yeah, we'll be there all weekend yeah. roaming around. The place is going to be massive. Just look for the bright neon green hair and the really tall guy in a camera. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, really though. Funny. So, like, it's not like I'm going to be above everybody's heads because I'm only five foot three. <laughs> Until next week. Next week should work, I think. If not, yeah, we, we'll probably make it work. We'll let you guys know on our social media. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. And as always, T-T-F-N. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> the eye is what makes it.